so this is what our syllabus team we are going to cover introduction one you have to know spring boot and the rest api team what is cloud characteristics what is horizontal scaling and okay, vertical scaling monolithic applications versus micro services splitting monolithic application into micro services what is the evaluation of this spring cloud why you should go for spring cloud and spring cloud config server and config client what is eureka what is load balancer and discovery client ribbon client and vegan client how to build a resilient system using circuit breaker implementing resilient to 4j time limiter and retry mechanism after that spring cloud gateway team after that distributed logging and centralized logging team using sleuth jipkin and elk then oauth 2.0 theory and examples we would use and 10th one microservice with docker and kubernetes docker kubernetes we will use theory and we will show you okay, one example but uh, we can't show you how to deploy your microservice and kubernetes cluster i can show you how to configure this kubernetes how to you know enable this kubernetes and all but we can't do it okay deployments in kubernetes summary team okay thank you the process of see okay increasing amount of request that we can handle in through the application is called vertical scaling is called vertical scaling now here in vertical scaling at any point of time only one server is there at any point of time only one server in the bracket one physical system at any point of time one server or one physical system team now here see now you will see small small examples team small example now here see you have a ptm you have a ptm now, until demonetization you have a ptm until demonetization until demonetization it was very less traffic team until demonetization it was very less traffic team less traffic after that after that after our demonetization huge demand team huge huge okay, demand suddenly you know 100x more number of request came suddenly after modi announcement that you know the demonetization suddenly okay okay what happened you know the the traffic would be the traffic would be 100x 100x means 100 times more if 100 times is more is your infrastructure would be okay supported team no what you will do you should go to your uh, okay okay you should go to your okay, ctc your shop bring one okay, hardware again you should okay, update the new physical system okay updated the new physical system now here see please okay, try to understand team so the main problem with this we don't know we can't uh, okay we can't predict how many number of physical servers you want how many number of physical server you want see now here you can't buy starting only bigger mission you can't buy starting only bigger mission why if you buy starting only bigger mission let's assume that i want to uh, you know uh, build a product i want to develop a product team 
your product name is uh, so Srinu Food App. Srinu Food App or okay, Tasty Food App. Something Tasty Food App. So what happened? I will develop this application and okay, I okay, deployed the okay, application into my server team. If you develop the application, if you deploy the application into your server, now what happened? After three months, we don't know. My product may be success or my product may be failure. After one week or after one month, if your product will be super hit, huge traffic is coming, then what you will do? Because of less resources, because of less resources, your product is now getting very slow. It is taking loading, loading. You just could not able to log in into your application. Immediately, what you will do? You should buy a new physical server and set up infrastructures. It may take time. Meanwhile, application will not perform good. Then all users will stop using the application. See, within a month, okay, product would be super success. Then what happened? Super success. Then what happened, team? Then we have to we have to okay increase the resources. See what I should do? I should buy the buy new physical server. Step number two: buy new physical server. Okay, okay step number two. Set up okay, infrastructure. Okay, infrastructure. Okay, it's not like uh, you know by the uh, system, and you should not like okay handle right. You should be you know connecting to your whole okay, infrastructure configuration. Okay, everything should be done right. It may take uh, around one day in time to set up the okay, infrastructure. See here to do all these th things, and then uh, deploy the application. To do all these things. To do all these things, it may take time. It may take more time. Meanwhile, meanwhile, application will not. Meanwhile, application will not perform good. Then users will be. Then users will stop. Stop using the applications. Please try to understand, team. Stop the application means once it will be stopped, your business will be gone. Your business will be gone. So you can't guess. You may be feel starting only, you know, starting only you are trying to configure as a big server. Starting only you started as a big server. Let us assume that. Let's say starting only if we will take more physical we will take big server which will have more which will have higher okay resources then what happened higher resources then what happened you know it will be good okay higher resources and uh, deploy the application your resources and okay, deploy the okay, application. Then what happened? You know, okay, suppose if our, our product will not success, then what happened? You know, startup companies would be more team. Initial cost would be more that it is a startup company. If you use vertical scaling, either less number of resources or more number of resources we can't predict how the people you know we can't predict so how many you know how many number of users are there so depending on vertical scaling is always a problem team it is for legacy of okay, infrastructure is following this Okay, vertical scaling depending on this vertical scaling is always a problem because it is always running on only one server it is very tough to get number of number of now 
correct resources this concept does not work anywhere in our real time okay team now here see note number one depending on vertical scaling always get the problem either less traffic or more traffic so it is very tough it is very tough to get the number of correct resources it is very tough to get the number of correct resources number of correct resources team this concept this concept does not work anymore please try to understand team this concept does not work anymore in our real time we had been uh, used this one in 2014 we have only one server after six months traffic would be added we are increasing ram to 8 cpu 8 gb we are increasing ram to th okay 32 cpu is okay uh, 16 gb ram so every every six months every three months based on the traffic right we have been uh, you know okay increasing this okay resources team what happened okay after until six months you have been okay increasing after six months no traffic is there what happened you are paying huge amount to your infrastructure team maintenance would be there resources maintenance and resources cost so many you know uh, you know so many um, okay parameters are there uh, to increase your cost team to overcome these problems you know get okay, what is the drawback here first drawback is the cost of vertical scalability is very high the cost of vertical scalability is very high second one we can't okay, expect to handle more number of okay, resources we can't get okay, infinite cpu and ram here there should be in some limit number of cpu and ram team you can't get okay, infinite cpu and ram team understood team so this is the drawback with your one is cost is very high the drawbacks with okay vertical scaling point number one team one is we can't we can't predict we, we can't okay, expect to handle to handle more request more request for the resources the number two team the cost of vertical scalability is high number three team we can't get infinite cpu comma ram there should be a limit to to hit number of cpu and ram next to team as we'll start now now see how to overcome all these problems to overcome all these problems to because of these problems because of okay problems in vertical scaling we should go horizontal scaling what is horizontal scalability we do not run our application in one server instead okay, instead run in multiple servers instead and run in multiple servers we do not run our application in one server okay instead and run in multiple server instead and run in multiple server number two instead of okay instead of okay, application run in big server run in smaller servers that means everything i will explain team basics are important that's why i have started with the basics team okay i have started with the basics team so our application is deployed into here and our application is deployed into here and our application is deployed into here so it is a one it is a one server or one 
physical system it is a server to it is a physical system it is a server 3 it is a one physical system private ip address it is a one private ip address every remote server will have one private ip address let us assume that all are in okay all are would be deployed into some cloud team so how to you know if it be if more than one server your application is running who will handle it who will handle it all this server there is a concept is called load balancer load balancer is having some public ip ip means now what happened here you have a some dns domain name mapping now and our request will come to your load balancers because from the clients you are getting so many worker requests are coming from the clients you are getting so many requests to team here we would have request one here we would have request two we will have under on okay request 100 what this load balancer will do load balancer will distribute the load to your server first request will send here second request will give to here third request will give to here it will distribute your load to your multiple server vertical scaling means only one server horizontal means we have multiple server now here what i will do in this server my one cpu 2 gb ram in this server one cpu 2 gb ram in this server one cpu 2 gb ram it is a horizontal scaling so now huge traffic will come now huge traffic will come what happened immediately i should add immediately i should add one more cpu i mean one more server if you use traffic as there i will add this i will add this server to whom load balancer not immediately here also some challenges are there i will explain here we should go ahead with you deploy your application deploy your application here also you would have one cpu and two gb ram okay sir you may ask how to maintain the session if session is created in application one how the next request will be how the next request will be recognized that session that is different sir there is a concept is called sticky session concept is called radius cache that will discuss later now if huge traffic will come to your application what happened if any new request will come now here means immediately you will create a one new mission add that mission to whom load balancer add that mission to whom load balancer understood sir so now please try to understand team all our basics in horizontal in horizontal scalability we can scale application compared to vertical scalability but other problems are there other problems also would be there what are the other problems in horizontal scalability we can scale the application compared to vertical scalability but other problems would be there but all these use cases we will be using team here please try to understand please try to understand others but other problems other problems would be there what are the other problems other problems okay still exist what are the other problems one how many how many servers would you keep would you keep in your cluster cluster means group of computers what will be the resources of those servers how many servers you want how many you want like this and how many each server what is the configuration 
each server what is the configuration okay third one i told already it's not only for okay, api i told already is not only for okay, api you have to know micro services means cloud third party tools and java of okay, apis please try to understand coding anyone can do to understand this micro service architecture you should have some knowledge on these two also now i am trying to explain why we should go for cloud later i will be explain third party tools next we will start our apis coding okay please try to understand team now here see what will be the what will be of that okay resources team what will be of that okay resources team what will be the resources of that server third one these servers will be physical servers remember these servers is physical server when you get a physical server we need to decide we need to decide how many servers you need to get you need when you get a physical server you need to decide how many servers you need to get it is a mandatory you want to one server or you want to two you should know this one here also note that means here also same resource planning issue same resource planning problems like had in vertical scaling now here okay what are the problems you have we had this okay you know okay, vertical scaling how many okay, resources we don't know how people are going to behave your application if your application is famous more load you can how can give okay if it is less load our cost would be you know okay, impact to overcome this problem there is a concept is called team there is a concept is called virtualization to overcome this problem there is a concept is called virtualization please try to understand what is virtualization what is vm people are calling as a vm vm stands for virtualization simple definition take a physical server and create multiple virtualizations take a virtual physical server take a physical server and create create multiple virtual machine multiple virtual machines is called virtualization is called virtualization is called virtualization now here here it is a host os it is a host operating system it is your hypervisor okay, hypervisor is a software which is called okay it is called using this software only we can do okay virtualization i would say it is okay virtualization software what this will do you know it will split it will split it will split whole your hypervisor into multiple virtual machines it is a one virtual machine vm1 vm2 vm3 vm1 vm2 vm3 here what happened team it is okay running on linux os it is okay running on windows it is okay running on linux os running on linux os running on okay windows os running on maybe so here i have three vms now i have th three vms now please uh, try to understand team so either it is a horizontal or okay vertical scaling you can use physical server to deploy the application into your server if you want more instances then what happened you should deploy into another physical server so what virtualization will do you know 
this virtualization will do create multiple vms from single physical server that means here you gave here you should take one system 64 gb ram here you would give here some 64 cpu let's assume that so what happened here what this okay virtualization will do i can create okay, it will split team okay, it will split okay, instead of one single physical server it will split into multiple team it will split into multiple vms what it will do it will take some ba base is required base is required it will take some to run to run your okay, base os to run the base os it will take assume that 8 cpu and 8 gb ram but remaining okay, how many it is there okay 58 it is there team each each vm it will be allocated each vm it will be allocated 4 gb ram it will be allocated 4 gb ram and 4 cpu each allocated 4 gb ram and 4 cpu 4 gb ram and 4 cpu 4 gb ram and 4 cpu understood team so like that how many around 12 virtual mission 12 or 13 we can create we can create 13 vms we can create each vm is treated as a we can create 13 vms each vm is treated as a one physical server one physical server each vm treated as a one separate physical mission it is having as as it is having separate separate cpu comma ram cpu comma ram comma os team cpu comma ram comma os now super awesome now i never i need more so i never if more number of requests will come to application what will be happened you no need to go your shop and buy the your you know physical system and configure the okay, infrastructure no what you will do simple you will create one new vm if you have space you don't need to go outside into the market and bring the system and give that okay, system to your your load balancer you don't need to do if it is a physical server you have to go explicitly to your shop and you know buy that system and add to your load balancer understood team if it is okay if it is vm you don't need to go okay you don't need to go team you can see if more number of traffic will be happened what will be happened see here so here okay whenever whenever i know whenever we we came to know we came to know more number of whenever we came to know more number of or number of we came to know more number of request request will come to application more number of request will come to your application your application we can create we can create one more one more vm we can create one more vm we can create one more vm that means we don't need we don't need we don't need to go someplace to buy the to buy to buy the to buy the physical mission to buy the physical mission okay instead of i have a physical mission i have a hypervisor i will create one more vm and add to your cluster i can create one more vm and add to your cluster add to your cluster understood team add to your cluster now here see now here see we don't need to 
from place to by the physical mission okay instead okay instead i have i have physical mission and also i have hypervisor hypervisor software and and then i will create i will create one more vm one more vm and add to add to cluster that cluster would be added to this load balancer this helps you know companies many ways addresses to resource related problems this virtualization problems you now here so to overcome this to overcome physical servers problems then market started using started using virtualization market started using virtualization market started using okay virtualization understood team started using virtualization what is virtualization i already have explained team now that's good okay without virtualization there are lot of problems are there it is a very you know big important in our application development that's all good team that's all we saw now but please concentrate we are almost okay, ending our theory now virtualization helped okay helped in resource planning resource planning and scale applications and scale application but did not solve did not solve the problems did not solve the problems what is the problem you know first to problem first to problem let's assume that you are buying physical server and where you want where you want put that physical server that means group of virtual machines where you want to keep this here you want to put this physical server where you want okay put this physical server team where you want to keep so if you want to keep it is in assume that your software and company is okay, available if you are okay software and company is okay, available in you know in india you want to keep this your whole your okay, infrastructure whole your okay, infrastructure you would take one room team in that room it is called a big room it is a server room in our office also there is some server room is there are you keeping all this all this uh, your physical servers which is combination of virtual machines all are you keeping inside of that room no no what happened how can you guarantee is that is that server is always up and running means you need to be monitor whether always keep your server is up and running what happened if we can we do if we buy and land and keep all physical servers in in risky place in risk place like in pakistan okay you do it or or will you keep this in uh, you know uh, you know if any one of the uh, okay of a terrorist attack place like you know any one of the you know okay bomb blast any one of the you know are you keep this in our which location it is that location should not be should not be okay flood okay 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 flood so should not come like okay, a terrorist base to attack so okay, it's not a small right if it is a small our sinotech.com i can keep in my room it is a it is a big big of applications right see now what is go to youtube later we can check that what is a data center city data center is nothing but group of clusters where each cluster will have group of each cluster will have group of physical servers where each physical server will have multiple virtual machines multiple virtual machines understood team now now please concentrate see now if you want if you want see they will take minimum 100 across or 1000 across for this data center steam what is the minimum 
data center minimum things are first one need need to set up proper electricity proper electricity team very important second one team is always this your power okay should not be you know uh, you know okay, you, okay always your power should be uh, okay, availability we can't say no power no data center work like that okay you can't tell need okay ac team third one security as a okay, required team fourth one okay location should not be civil wars natural okay, terrorist attack okay naturals it should not be a terrorist attack it should not be flood scam these things who will take care team these things application developer should not application developer never think but as a company company owner they should think things application developers never think as a company owner they should think team company ceos and all need a people see if you are you have a on prime on prime setup on prime setup on prime servers or on prime okay, infrastructure on prime okay, infrastructure if you want to go with on prime server then need more people to manage to manage setup and new infrastructure new okay, infrastructure and new okay, infrastructure comma add or remove the servers whenever you want next one team need to worry about data loss data loss prevention means you should be okay, take care if your data should not be lost because of more customers data would be stored here by any chance if one data center should down and get the data from another data center next one team that is data should be backup in some data centers or okay different data in same data centers or different data centers understood team see like this team so many so many you know things are required to enable your see if you are going with on prime server you have to be you have to be you have to be plan all these things big big companies like american express like big big banks right they will do all these things manually imagine a company is doing all these things how much cost it will be that's why they would go for they would go for cloud team they would go for cloud cloud very very important last one some of the characteristics characteristics that demand demand application that demand to develop to develop application today team what are the demand see you are okay youtube you are facebook or okay, big big applications what is your application performance number one number two always your application up and running high availability high availability number three is it auto scaling future is available or not scaling what is auto scaling i will explain number four dynamic resource provisioning provisioning dynamic resource provisioning number five zero downtime you should not application your downtime zero downtime upgrade number six distributed and ever your application will these days team these are the basic requirement of any application like banking incident e-commerce food app these are the basic requirements team implementing or achieve these requirements with our own infrastructure with our own infrastructure using monolithic application is very difficult to team very very difficult what is monolithic applications now okay, i will explain team 
implementing these are the okay implementing these are the basic basic requirements of these application okay, developments now basic what is the basic okay i will explain performance high availability auto scaling okay auto scaling okay see okay implementing these are the basic requirements these are the basic requirement basic okay, requirements of any application any application if you go any office they would be asking this how you are measuring your performance availability and all basic applications these are the basic requirements of any applications like banking e-commerce okay, insurance and all implementing okay, implementing okay, implementing okay, implementing and achieving and achieving okay, implementing and okay, achieving okay achieving these okay achieving these futures these futures with our okay, infrastructure these features will be with our own okay, infrastructure own okay, infrastructure using monolithic application is very difficult is very difficult thing it's very difficult what is online statement of this performance irrespective of the load of your application irrespective of the load of your application either your application is high load or low load always your application will give response in very fast application should respond in milliseconds irrespective of high or low load of your application see how it is happening we should know if you move to our application as a microservice architecture all this would be possible if you are not using your microservice architecture all will not be impossible it is difficult high availability means 24 by 7 during year your application your application should be up and running have you seen anywhere your youtube is down no have you seen your your youtube is down no understood team please okay, try to okay, understand team very very important it is okay very very okay, important it is how to overcome all this all these features understood now what is auto scaling auto scaling means the process of auto scaling means the good future team auto scaling what is auto scaling here see auto scaling good future is called okay, auto scaling due to space issue i am writing here what this auto scaling will do you know capability auto scaling means auto scaling is process of scale out scale in scale out means so what happened if more number of request will come then automatically automatically means our devops team will write this script automatically create new vm new virtual machine and add into load balancer automatically you don't need this process is called auto scaling how how it will be load based on the cpu utilization if cpu utilization is 60 then add one vm if cpu is still is busy with 70 add one more vm if cpu is busy means it is able to you know getting more load if cpu is get add two more vms if CPU is getting 90%, then add 4 VMs because huge traffic is there. Scale out means the process of increasing. Scale out means based on this CPU utilization, we have been increasing more VMs. It is called auto scaling. More number of requests will come, then automatically create a new virtual machines and add it to here. This process is called scale out. What is scaling? What is scaling means the process of the number of the request will be less than it will it will remove the VMs. It will remove the VMs. It will remove the VMs automatically. Okay, team. If see who will take care? This is mandatory. See it's Amazon, you know. Amazon, if any offers will be there, huge traffic will come. 2000, 4000 virtual machines are running at that time in Amazon. 
huge traffic everyone is hitting your amazon.com application continuously okay, hitting 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 means for about 2004000 vms virtual machines are running all would be added to air you are this load balancer this load balancer will take care to distribute the load to all this nodes team okay scaling means if the number of okay, request will be in less then remove the virtual missions automatically understood team now we have okay, discussed about auto scaling and auto can scaling you know scale out and scale in team understood team now what is the scale out and scale in more scale out means based on the cpu utilization more number of vms would be added automatically during your microservice development in your, hey how many okay, instances would be happened this means in, in you know how many new vms has been added okay if traffic is more now what happened i can't bring you know from outside i can't add right it will do automatically means vms can can add and remove automatically based on the cpu utilization based on this cpu utilization so team okay, next one what is dynamic resource means auto scaling to work we need dynamic resource provision to work with auto scaling need dynamic resource provision if we can't dynamically okay, request a resource then can't do auto scaling understood team see simple if you can't okay, dynamically okay, requesting if, if you can't dynamic request okay, dynamically request a resource then on to do the auto scaling on to do the auto scaling on to do the auto scaling team create the resources dynamically and also add vm need to deploy the application is called dynamic resource providing team the next one team what is zero downtime zero downtime means during application deployment or any servers migration application application should not down application should not down what is a distributed a distributed means distributed means simple team so it is it should be okay distributed the data across the okay, distributed data across across geographically if distributed the data across geographical data center across geographical center as geographical data center team so these are the very very important to build your application now we will see now we will go to our okay, interested topic what is your okay, interested topic if already monolithic application is there why you should go for C to overcome all this do you think if you want to overcome all these things if you can do by your own if it is own means you need more okay, resources we need manpower we need secure place all this stuff is required to solve to implement all these features cloud came cloud came into picture to implement all these features cloud came into picture so when you are using you know see see when you are using cloud right you can't use monolithic applications all see to, to overcome all these problems team now your cloud came into the picture to do all this by okay, your own it is very difficult to, to handle all these things team okay that's why you know cloud came into the picture your okay, your cloud will tell hey all companies you should focus on only okay, development only you should focus on only okay, development only L leave the okay, deployment and okay, okay infrastructure to us whenever you want you know he'll take care based on your application demand provide your requirement based on your application traffic security everything will take care you should just to pay the amount whenever you don't want 
you can remove it whenever you want you can add it okay understood team now see here okay what happened implement all the features cloud came into the picture but we can't use we can't use when we are using cloud to implement all the features we should go for cloud then we are using cloud then can't use monolithic applications want to use monolithic applications you can use monolithic but you'll have a lot of problems you can use monolithic but we can use monolithic applications but we will have a lot of problems that is where microservices will help we will see what are the problems with the monolithic application why we should go for micro services team with the monolithic applications why we should go for micro services team understood team now we'll see first step we are monolithic applications monolithic applications very very important team monolithic application now first one what is this monolithic application number one most of the applications developed earlier using monolithic applications see it is my monolithic applications what are the drawbacks with the monolithic applications why you should go for this monolithic applications let us assume that e-commerce application e-commerce applications okay now here see generally or amazon what are the features are their team you have a future is called product catalog you have a future is called shopping card catalog you have a future is called order history you have a future is called customer details account details or whatever we have four futures future one product catalog future two shopping cart future three order history future four customer future monolithic applications are applications where all the features of application is present in one single deployable artifact most of the applications developed earlier using monolithic application now monolithic applications are applications applications are applications where all the features where all the features of applications is present in one single deployable artifact understood team monolithic applications are applications where all the features here all the features of application are present in one single deployable artifact that means this is a var file or it is a er file group of var files is a called er file it is a one application 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 or you can give var file also it's not a problem where all the features will deployable all the features of is one single deployable now here var file contains all the features our file contains all the features now see can anyone tell team in your amazon out of these four features traffic would come more to which future team can you one please order good order order history it's not a order order history can anyone shopping no can anyone team see whenever you log in into your amazon.com everyone will looking for what browsing of these products i want iphone i want iphone okay everyone i want some books people most of the people if 10 lakhs request will come to your amazon out of 10 lakhs first 10 lakhs users will be searching the products maybe 5 lakhs user choose one choose one iphone 13 out of 10 lakhs maybe only 1 lakh users will go to you adding to shopping cart everyone will not add to shopping cart only out of 10 lakhs 1 lakh users remaining all 9 lakhs users is 
searching or time passing or whatever they want, they can do it. Very rare people will go to order history. Order is okay, it's not orders. Okay, yeah, good. So most of the users will go to where this product and catalog. Let us assume that this traffic is 10 lakhs T. Assume that I am trying to understanding more every day of 10 lakhs. This order history traffic, you know, every day max 10,000. Shopping cart may be a one customer futures may be a one lakh or depends. Now what happened? Now what happened? Please try to understand. If you are trying to because of used traffic, because of used traffic, now if if used traffic will come, what happened? I need to scale. I need to scale my application or not? I need to scale my application means if okay if used traffic will come. I need to increase my, you know, one more VBM, I should add it or not. Let, let us assume that this whole Webaru file will require 64 CPU and 64 GB RAM. Let us assume that. All. See, if more traffic will come, but actual traffic is only product only. Actual traffic is only product only. If more number of request will come, if more number of okay, requests will come, what should we do team? If you are following monolithic architecture, how to scale your application, how to scale your application, you need to scale your whole application. You need here you have a load balancer. I would call as a LB. Here your application is this. Here your application is this. Here we have your application is called product catalog and shopping cart order history product catalog shopping cart order history product catalog shopping cart order history here it is customer future here also product and catalog shopping cart order history so now what happened you know you need to scale your whole but what is the drawback you see team here what is the drawback if you are using monolithic application only one future is getting more traffic even though one future is getting more traffic but we need to scale whole your application let us assume that it is taking only okay okay it is taking only okay, 8 gb 8 gb cpu it is taking you know 8 GB RAM actually the traffic would be more for only product catalog only you need to scale only for product catalog but because of monolithic architecture all the features are available into your single deployable application you need to scale whole application please try to understand if you want one more then you have to add one more team most used feature is here product catalog least used future is here order history or customer futures because of everything is bundled into single where if you want to scale one part of the future you can't do it if you want to scale one future then we will scale whole futures because of this resource utilization is not up to the marketing understood team but here here you should go for 64 gb 64 cpu here 64 cpu here and 64 ram here here also you should go for 64 cpu here and 64 ram here understood team if you want to again traffic will come again you should do one more thing here again here you should go for a product catalog and you should go for this again you should go for here you should go for cf and add this to here understood team here also you should use the same try to understand team now what are the drawback with the monolithic applications drawbacks drawbacks one team it's not an easy team your client may have hundreds of the applications hundreds of the applications 
so in, they want scale scale means they need to scale whole here that's why i have okay, explained earlier basic horizontal scaling and okay, vertical scaling so now because of because of you can write here here in in architecture product and catalog will get more will get more traffic will get high traffic and customer future will get less traffic first drawback team first drawback team if if we want enabled auto scale then need to enable then it should enable should enable whole application not not specific feature because of everything bundle into single var file if you want to scale one part of the futures future we can't do just write on a understood team we can't do very very important all these things if you want to scale one part of the future we can't do it if you want to scale one futures if we want scale scale one future then it will scale all futures it will scale all the features because of this because of this resource utilization is not proper resource utilization resource of utilization is not up to the mark it's not up to the mark very very important team all you should be aware all these things your micro services is not like coding like spring boot coding like all now that is the reason this micro services pre requesting is called spring boot why spring boot is required one of the future is called embedded server if it is embedded means just you will okay, deploy your application into new server that's it if embedded is not there what happened in spring boot you need to install if it is okay if it is okay embedded just okay deploy your spring boot application into new machine and you can start that new machine okay, it will be okay enough if it is not embedded you need to install the tomcat you need to install the configurations you need to install the required you know configuration how much time it will take so much of time it will take if the configuration will be problem problem again it is the issue okay the next one thing what is next one next drawback with the monolithic application is tightly coupling team. what is tightly coupling what is okay, tightly coupling see i am trying to modify the some okay functionality of product catalog if i will try to modify the product catalog future it may be impacting on other future what i should do i need to do product catalog testing as well as one round regression testing regression testing means make sure all the you know functionality of working of this other features also you should test for safer side because of you are touching you are you are started a development in product catalog you need to do one round testing of other features also because of this development time would be increased if development time and testing time would be increased means release time also it should be increased very very important team what is mean by tightly coupling yeah if if we are trying to modify one of future functionality then it might impact for it might impact for other features also other features also it might impact for other features also so we need to do to we need to do that is okay example if we will if we will try if we will add product to future development then other features like other features like shopping cart comma order history comma customer service then other features also would impact other feature also would look okay, impact so to avoid this now here we need to do we need to do more regression testing we need to do more regression testing on on other features on other features and regular regular and personal testing on 
new feature okay okay and okay functional testing with and do the functional testing because of this development time and qe time because of this development time and qe time would be increase increase because of this development time and qe time would be qe means okay testing time quality engineering testing time would be okay increase team understand team now what is mean by now here third one team what is mean by third one team see monolithic applications means in size and you know if what happened if code is more means okay bugs also it will be more third one is slow feedback team slow feedback loop what is slow feedback loop see you develop a application team so let's assume that you have a company a company a means you can give company is called amazon team amazon amazon if you want to deliver one future is of amazon every because of monolithic applications you need to develop you need to deploy it will take every six months one release every six months of one one new future release into market but i have a young company is called uh, you know i have a young company is called ebay every one month every six months new future every one month new future will be released into the market team new future will be released into the market team now can you tell me who will be your success team in the market because of you are following monolithic architecture you need to go for more features you need to do regression testing you need to all so you need more feedback no here it is a slow feedback loop team slow feedback loop if you follow monolithic architecture difficult to enable devops means team what is devops never once developer develop and commit the code into git repo then then what happened it will build automatically it will perform ci cd ci cd ci stands for continuous integration cd stands for continuous deployment means it is called build team it is called build ci stands for build because of your application size is more because of you okay your application size is more team if your application size is more then what happened you know the build and okay deploy okay it will take more time team build and deploy it will take more time as per microservice architecture every build should be max one minute it should be done but if you follow monolithic architecture it will take will take more time to build and deploy the applications to build and deploy the applications team now fifth one team what is fifth one single point of failure that is called spark industry is calling spark what is spark you know see it is your monolithic application from the back end product catalog is getting error now what happened whole application is down whole application will not work because of one future is not working whole application would be down why whole application should be down because of the your small future customer may be in some problem with the back end systems and all customer future is very 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 in less traffic because of customer future is down huge impacted future is product also it would be down we lost our business understood team if the application or servers stop working then whole application if the application or server stop working then then all the applications all the applications all the features if sorry if one of the future will stop working then all the futures and all the other futures also will stop working all the other futures also 
will stop working will stop working sir please try to understand will stop working yes, that is if one future will be down will be down then then it will break it will break whole it will break whole application then it will break whole application as down to overcome all these problems we should you know we should go for microservice architecture we should use a new architecture called called as microservices to overcome all these problems we should use a new architecture is called microservices team now we should use what is microservice why this microservice is coming into the picture how to split this monolithic applications into microservice uh, what is the architecture now we okay, will discuss okay, everything team got it team microservices are distributed comma loosely coupled comma software objects that carry out small number of small number of well defined task micro services are distributed loosely coupled software objects that carry out small number of well defined task small number of well defined task another definition micro services are small autonomous services autonomous means small services which are responsible for which are responsible for one kind of functionality which are responsible for one kind of functionality or features please try to understand next one micros services are it is an methodology or architectural style services is an methodology or architectural style is an methodology or architectural style of building software application micro service is a methodology or architectural style of building software applications it has provided it has okay provided guidelines comma design patterns and recommendations recommendations so that people adopt so that people adopt adopt in building building large scale applications large scale complex business systems large scale complex business systems now see team now we'll see what is micro services team see now here whole applications if it is micro services split whole applications into multiple future city whole applications into multiple futures see the micro services are decompose 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 the large scale large scale business systems into multiple multiple smaller services decompose means divide the large scale business system into multiple smaller services it has the below characteristics one is loosely coupled another one is independent independently deployable that means for what losing coupled means i would explain every future is a one of the service independent okay, deployable means for what separate build and okay, deploy e, yeah, okay, every service every service will will have every service will build and deploy 
build and deployable separately build and deployable separately every service build and okay, deployable like separately separately loosely coupled means loosely coupled means okay, every service has separate code base and own repository separate code base and own repository all are the features of this micro services team now highly scalable highly scalable understood team highly scalable now, next one is what is highly scalable and all i will explain next one is highly scalable means it should be okay, enabled automatically default it should be enabled automatically default next one is resilient next one is a resilient understood team the last one is these are the we are using advantage of this micro service architecture how the advantage how it is works now all the stuff we are going to see practically whatever spin left right all we should take care of as a single deployable application we need to split whole your monolithic application into micro service team understood team now and last one is collaborative collaborative team bro services you know characteristics team now we'll start now we'll start now you, okay you may ask you may ask you have this one now here what happened please concentrate we are splitting whole product into different micro services yeah whole product into different micro services team so here we have a product we have a catalog we have a product we have a catalog we need to split we need to split instead of four product catalog is one of the product catalog is one of the service and shipping order is one of the future i mean shopping cart sorry shopping cart is one of the future next one order history is one of the future next one customer is one of the future so we are splitting whole our application mm -hmm. into different micro services team here what happened it is a one separate wire file it is a one service it is a one service it is a one service intrusion are asking most of the intros are asking how do you how do you split how do you split monolithic services into micro services so this two regions team one is hope you know sr srp in our solid principle single responsibility single responsibility principle what it does a class should have only one future. A class should have only one future. There is a only one reason to change that class. A class should have only one reason. You should modify the class only that reason only. Understood, sir? That reason only. The next one. Very important. They will be using some feature is called a bounded context team all the features will be divided into what it will do based on the business function it will use enter what this bounded context will do bounded context it will be split it will be splitting monolithic into micro services based on based on business functions monolithic into micro services based on the business functions team based on the business functionality based on the business functionality team okay what is the business functionality now we'll do now we'll see actual story we'll start now just try to understand here it is all the features it is a product feature yeah team now here see it is a every feature is a one where file now based on the bounded context Based on the business functionality, based on the business domain, it will be split your monolithic applications into 
microservices team. Now what happened here, you know, how the your application will scale. Now we will see product and catalog. Now we will see product catalog. How this product catalog? PC, 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 PCT. Now here, here we will have balancer team. Load balancer LB. Here, your VM, VM1, I mean your mission 1, mission 2, mission 3, mission 4 team. You are your product catalog, product catalog, product catalog, here product catalog team. See, your load balancer will okay, distribute the load to all this product catalog feature team. Understood team? It is a product catalog feature team. Please try to understand. Now what happened here? Now what happened here? Once it is a product catalog feature, then what we'll do? Then what we'll do? Okay, next one. So here your load balancer will take care to route the request. Load balancer will take care to route the request to, to multiple VMs. Load balancer will take care to handle multiple requests. Now here see. That means to run your product catalog, we may need four instances. Four instances or VMs are required. Four instances are four VMs are required. Four VMs are required for product catalog. For product catalog. Understood team. Four instances or VMs are required for product catalog. If you go for order order history, I don't require four. I may require only two. Here, it is a one load balancer team. See, using this microservice architecture, auto scaling would be more helpful. Okay, instead of loading, instead of scale whole your application, whatever future you want, you can only scale that future only. Are you clear, team? Okay. Now here, see team. So, first advantage is whatever you want, you can do scale, do you can scale your services independently. Team. You can scale your services independently. Understood, team? See how much advantage it is. You don't need to pay every time 64J, 64CP, and 64JB RAM. You need only, you need only based on the business functionality. We are, we are splitting into multiple micro services. Understood. Okay, next one. What is next one? Okay, next one team. Highly scalable done. Means, means scale, scale, scale the particular, particular required feature, required feature than whole application. Then whole application. Understand team. Okay, next one. What is meant by losing the coupled? Okay, next one team see another principle in micro services means very very important team please concentrate i have a product service i have a product db i have a order service i have a order db okay now very very important this one product service should talk to product DB. Order service will talk to order DB. Now what happened, you know? In earlier, your product service will talk to here. Will call to products DB. Will call to products DB. Order service products service will also called order DB. Earlier, not now. Please try to understand team. Now. A order service can call to product db but this new new structure right one of the one of the micros services you no know, famous feature is called loose coupling right now here what happened you know instead of two should not communicate with each other should not communicate with see here please concentrate two services your product service should not call to order db and order db should not call to your product one if you want to call from your order to product you should call via services from the 
order i am calling to which one order understood team any questions team here okay depends upon the requirement team order db here from the order service call to rest client understood team please address it again call to rest client call to rest client understood team very very important team in microservice you should not communicate one database by multiple microservice every feature of the microservice the corresponding okay you have to call corresponding database team please it is one of the very very important if the okay, interviewer asking hey how to split okay next one how to compare your monolithic versus micro services team understood team are you able to follow here so if the product service and order service if order service is depending on product service then users can easily product catalog in a case of you know in a okay in case of what happened you know see here you need to write here a okay, rest template code how to call your product service team right how to write code okay, i will explain write a okay, rest client code to call the product service team to call the product service team so in micro service every data okay, every database it's okay it's well, sorry every service they should have its own database team okay, its own database team team now here see first two one team here okay, advantage is advantage service of okay, advantages what is first one split okay split monolithic into microservice based on the bounded context or srp srp first advantage team the drawbacks also okay, i will explain loose coupling and high cohesion what is mean by this loose coupling and i cohesion means change in one service should not to break should not break to should not break to should not break other services a and b b all the related features in single service is called by cohesion all the related features in single service is called high cohesion i mean that means um, product related information update product delete product search product get to products put all it is a high cohesion team change in one service it should not break other service that is so no need replication testing need to test other services other services team then okay, next one database db database okay database team every database okay microsoft services right see the recommended approach is split the database every micro service should have its own database every micro service should have okay, its own okay, database team okay, next one what is the next one see if you want if you want if you want communicate we can communicate other database or cross cutting database via service via service team that means getting product in details of orders okay you should not call your order to product your product to order no you should call via service team you should call via this service to team okay okay next one team next one team so okay very very important okay, next one now we'll start after this we'll start our start our okay, team okay, next one breaking change what is breaking change I would explain this later if any changes will do services that should have backward compatibility what is backward compatibility i will explain to you it means every micro service should maintain versioning should it is also called that is api versioning what is api versioning 
we would have discussed collaterality. Oh, fourth one thing. So, as you know this, okay, every service, single, single source code. What is the advantage of with this single source code means? That means its own Git repo. Its own Git repo. Okay, its own okay, Git repo project. Earlier, all features are in one single. Now, every service will have its own source code means it, every service will have its own Git repo. It, okay, its own Git repo so that, so that build and okay, deployment. So that build and okay, deployment. Okay, it would be easy team. So that build and okay, deployment would be easy team. Build and okay, deployment, it, it would be easy team. Understood? That is called build and okay, deployment. And okay, deployment would be easy team. Easy team. See, every Microsoft service, so its own have single source code project. Earlier, if it is there, right, developers can develop develop the code develop the okay, development parallelly earlier it was not like that earlier whole into one single application if one guy is okay, trying to change anything i should wait until that guy changes will be okay, impact or not i should wait something issues here it's not like that every developer can develop their okay, development parallelly without having any okay, issues team okay so each each module can be developed and okay, independently okay, deployable each module can be scale see what are the okay, advantages would be there you know every service single source code that is its own git repository okay advantage one a so many okay, advantage team so many okay advantages see each service can <clears throat> each service can build can build out of out of their own source code team so without having without having any a dependency the dependency of others we can be independent in planning and release and release the modules without bothering without bothering about other modules or other features see each service can be scaled can be scaled up independently independently of others d team e even though if you got failures can be isolated isolated due to independent employable these are the advantage if you go with the micro services team these are the advantage we should go for micro services team understood team if anyone will ask you should go for it is a loose link coupling and high cohesion it is a it is a loose link coupled independent of deployable single database high scalable resilient application collaborative everything team understood team any questions team here so you have to okay, explain all these things team if anyone else will ask what are the advantages of your micro services point number one each micro service is relatively small shall you write team again okay i will write team again see advantages okay some more okay, elaborately team please people are asking team okay everyone is okay asking this famous okay interviews question it is point number one each micro service is is okay relatively relatively small and has its own source code okay, its own source code and okay, independent of its own source code comma independent of other services because of these what are the advantages would be there a, a developer can easily understand the source code of the okay, application they can source code of the application of okay, easily team b what is the b monolithic means your eclipse id okay, development also will be very slow to build and to build the application if it is migration services means ide will faster in developing the okay, applications server okay, run times will quickly deploy 
deploy the micro services so that so that the development team can the development team can quickly quickly test their applications team. so many of advantages are there if you move to micro service architecture so two team services can be deployed independently it is called loosely coupled it is called loosely coupled team independently it is called loosely coupled team independently third one team every developer because of this parallel development is promoted next one team testability your application can be a testability of the application of the application become very easy team very easy number five independently scalable independently scalable team here we can achieve horizontal scaling team horizontal scaling so you have to be more all this team all no i i have a question this why separate data is needed very very important uh, sir one question yes yes why different yeah. database is needed or database as a service is not mandatory right a different microservice no, no, no. can have common database no here database means schema maybe database is only one order service schema is different product service schema is different why it should be a okay, different means let's assume that my required order details my product required order details so if i ask you directly communicating to order this product might be okay, updating some orders deleting some orders without okay, aware of this order service now what happened order service may have so many consumers consumer 1 consumer 2 and consumer 3 consumer means client consumer 1 consumer 2 consumer 3 so if the if you are okay if you will be allowing them directly to this database this product may be some okay, updating some culprit the data it would be impact for all other services or consumers sir that is the reason we should not allow them because it is a tightly coupled here if any operations of these orders you should via order service only so that your order service knows what are the things would happen you should not communicate with okay cross cutting db cross cutting means orders should not call to product product should not call to order accounts information is only account db sir understood sir yes sir understood thank you yeah so now see here these are the advantages with this micro service architecture the, the summary i have written starting team summary means loosely coupled you can write in 10 points what is the advantages of loosely coupled okay, independent okay, deployable high scalable resilient collaborative okay, i will explain what is okay, resilient and all these are the advantages if you go with the micro service architecture team disadvantages also will be there that will discuss later team at this time you, you can't understand the disadvantages also is there with the micro services those are not okay, disadvantages those are uh, you know uh, you know uh, okay, depends upon your project okay, requirement you should choose for micro service architecture or not that will okay, discuss okay, at the end of the classes team now we will start so now we have seen what is the monolithic application when you should go for micro service you know now we are seeing to develop any micro service to develop any micro service again i am telling number one developing the software solutions based on micro services that we can do next one next one team important delivering the okay, delivering the micro services to real world to real world using tools stack 
no why i am using this word means please try to understand team to build the application to build and manage the microservices services not only required for only libraries we need support of some tools to build the applications to build the micro services not only required not only required for apis not only required for okay, apis or any or any programming language apis are any programming language okay not only required apis not only required apis or programming language along with we need we need support for tools we need support for tools to deploying the applications comma discover the applications monitor your applications managing and managing the micro services deploying okay, discovering deploying okay, discovering and managing the micro services team okay team very very important team what are these tools are required team see only okay, developing is okay only okay, developing is okay to develop the micro services we need to use to develop the micro services we need to use some technologies but there are some third party tools are required to to enable deploy your application monitor your application managing the managing of your application stream what are those tools are required you know java has provided so you know here how to, okay how to develop the services how to develop then services means how to develop the micro services means answer is i should use spring rest using i should use spring boot i can use team okay using using rest principles but now my question is how to deliver the micro services the developing is good how to deliver okay, means in the market there are uh, you know netflix is one of the company netflix has early adopting this micro services team so how to deliver the micro services a okay very very important a netflix has early adopted micro services early adopted micro services architecture and implemented several tools that help us in managing okay, integrating in okay, integrating comma managing comma deploying micro services what are those one is one is eureka server what is eureka another one is vegan client other one is strict team other one is ribbon team other one is jewel all this i would say all even though all words are new for you don't worry i will explain to you all our netflix has provided i would say in one line statement it is called service discovery i would explain later it is called declarative client api for inter service communication or consuming for other apis districts it is called a circuit breaker for resilience circuit breaker for resilience ribbon ribbon means client side load balancer next one team api gateway sound team 
okay who has invented all netflix apache also can invent a team but these are not that much of popular than uh, you know netflix what apache has okay, implemented console second one zookeeper zookeeper for distributed configuration third one camel rest dsl fourth one Bitkin. okay no problem see apache also implemented all these things team now always in our real time to discovering of okay, integration of this microsystem services most of the microsystem services are they should use called docker and kubernetes for by adopting all these tools what happened by adopting all these tools all these are third party tools team all these are third party tools now see here if you want to use your programming language and your tools are required team both are required to develop the your microservice application again i am telling microservice application is equal to technologies like apis rest apis how you are using a rest api using spring boot or using jax rs but using spring boot only here plus third party tools third party tools okay now here team all these third party tools it is very difficult to, to develop by the java guys from the scratch see all these third party vendors are provided enough tools okay now here what this to use these tools we have to write a boilerplate of the code team see okay, next point even though even though even though third party vendors even though netflix netflix has provided enough tools has provided enough tools in discovering and integrating micro services micro services and micro services we need to write huge logic team please try to understand micro services consuming of these tools using of these tools using of these tools is quite complex quite complex and it has to write lot of boilerplate code lot of boilerplate code to overcome all these things spring cloud has introduced the market what the spring cloud is there spring cloud is using all these tools spring cloud is using all this tools team spring has adopted all this third party popular tools into spring framework as part of spring micro services team understood team so what this okay what this spring cloud will do spring cloud spring cloud is equal to what the spring cloud will do team spring cloud we okay, adopted all this integration of the tools using all the netflix provided third party tools spring cloud spring cloud uses using uses uses all the netflix third party tools to build spring based micro services team to build spring based micro services team again see here means spring cloud internally using for what spring cloud internally will be using what this netflix tools only spring cloud internally will be using netflix tools what is this okay netflix tools okay i will explain team what this spring is do spring has adopted this strategy of integrating all this third party in tools this this introduced a concept is called spring cloud okay instead of developers are struggling using all these tools spring cloud has written one 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 wrapper project as a spring cloud the spring cloud is internally integrated with all this third party tools team so that developer can quickly develop the okay, applications team developer can quickly build micro services using 
Spring Cloud using Spring Cloud modules using Spring Cloud modules team. So in later point of time, what this uh, Spring Cloud will do, you know? Now what this Spring Cloud will do? Hey, okay, starting okay, starting initially, Spring Cloud uses all the Netflix team. Later, Spring Framework or Spring team slowly slowly started writing slowly started okay started okay developing their own third party tools their own third party tools rather depending on rather okay, depending on okay, depending on you know third part okay, depend, okay, okay netflix and all okay depending on netflix team okay what are these one you know first one is First one is as part of Spring Cloud plus Spring Microsystem Services as provided. Spring Cloud plus Spring Micro Services as provided. Always latest is Spring Micro Services team. Is the latest now. Has provided. Has provided below set of tools. First tool is called Eureka Server Integration. I will show you practically. Second tool is called Spring Cloud Config Server and Config Client. Third tool is called Spring Circuit Breaker. Okay. This is called replacing your Netflix or okay, Strix team. Spring has provided okay, its own tool. Fourth one is called Spring API Gateway. Earlier it is called Joule. Testing. Joule. Joule API Gateway. Fifth one is called Spring Load Balancer. Replacing Ribbon. Replacing Ribbon. Ribbon is a load balancer. You would explain all. The sixth one is we are using as it is Fegan Client. Understood team. This is how to call now, how to implement all these tools team. How to implement all these tools now we'll start our application development team now we'll start our application okay, development team hope you are clear now why these tools are called why these tools are called team to develop microservice application is not only for not only for only coding number one along with this coding you have to know development plus once you develop the application who will deploy the application who will manage the application who will look integrate the application who will discover the application all these are tools are required now now you should okay once it is all done team now you should require cloud okay, infrastructure it is called cloud team understood team now we'll see now we'll see how to develop our spring cloud so to develop our application team spring boot is the mandatory to develop our application spring boot is the mandatory team why spring boot is the mandatory means this entire auto configurations okay all spring cloud is depending on auto configurations Okay, embedded server, all the Spring Boot features we are using Spring Cloud along with the Spring Boot features. We are also using okay, extra features is called this tools team. Let me see how to develop the your first application. Are you clear with the theory team? Team, if all clear, then we will start our first application team. Hope you know why we should go for monolithic applications and micro services why you should go for these tools okay and okay, everything team now we'll see to develop spring boot spring boot is used to develop the micro services and uses features like auto configuration comma okay embedded server team auto configuration and embedded server used to developing the micro services and uses the 
futures like auto configuration steam uses the futures like auto configuration team now okay, you may ask why we should go for this spring boot means see so many other applications see so many spring boot futures we would be using team to build and develop the okay, applications team now spring cloud spring cloud is used to provide the integration tools to provide the okay, integration tools like spring cloud config server comma eureka server comma and so on gateways and so on everything team. that is all the tools all the required all the required third party tools tools will provide all the required third party tools by the team all the required third party tools would be provided team here okay team are we good or any questions team okay till now okay now we'll see practically where to use what to use okay, how to use now we'll see okay practically team now we'll see practically team okay team now see what is the latest version of this okay, spring cloud team what is the latest version of spring cloud if anyone will ask hey what is the version of this spring cloud then we would tell hey this is the latest version of spring cloud team how can we tell that okay latest version of spring cloud see first one team i am going to my okay, clips ide every application we will develop from this scratch team every application will develop from the scratch Now we'll see the now T C T file new others not others file new put spring starter project. I am using JDK eight. Please try to understand. Spring Cloud just to demo team. Spring Cloud just to demo. From dot Strino Tech. Now. Now here see click on next team. By default what you need. Let us assume that. By default you will get Spring Boot parent form ok. I want to develop one simple application Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud is required. Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud config. Spring Cloud bootstrap. You may need web is required. Web spring web done. Click on next. Click on finish. The reason why I am telling you will see. Observe your palm.xml first. Windows view font. Now here what happened you know see please try to understand I am choosing here Spring Cloud Starter have you written anywhere this version team no from where this version will come Spring Boot Starter Web how this Spring Boot Starter Web version will come team from Spring Cloud Boot Parent here we have a dependency is called Spring Boot dependency. 
here you have a version is there daughter web book please try to understand here here what version it is giving 2.6.3 based on this version only it will bring all the required dependencies it will bring mvc 5 spring web 5 spring boot starter tomcat it will bring all the dependencies team similarly spring cloud also there is a parent palm we can't write in one palm.xml two parent palms you can't declare you can declare only one parent you can declare only one parent how to declare how to declare see here if you how to add one more parent palm there is a concept is called dependency management see 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 here there is a concept is called dependency management type is equal it is also one of the palm org dot spring framework dot cloud spring dot cloud iphone dependencies please try to understand team so if you want to develop your micro service okay spring micro service applications you need to add both spring boot dependencies as well as spring cloud dependencies because without spring boot you cannot develop spring cloud applications understood team so how to do it now we'll see practically okay, how to do it now we'll see practically your spring cloud version is okay depending on your spring boot latest version your spring cloud version is okay depending on your spring boot latest version you can see here spring cloud version compatible with the spring boot version spring boot version is compatible with the spring version spring boot version is compatible with the spring versions see it is like supporting for distributed routing service calls and all see 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 here please if you are using spring boot 1.x the version is dell star if you are using spring boot 1.5.x you can use edgeware if you are using spring boot 2.0.x they will be using finchley if you are using this greenwich oxton now we are using which one team 2.6x you should use 2021 0x same version is available or not see your spring tool shoot will bring automatically team if you want to prove let's see i will look, reduce in this version from 2.6.3 to some other version file new others okay spring boot project okay click on one just to one demo next here it is web next what is the version here not 2 point i want to go for 2.5.9 which version it should come 2020 aka this version will come see next finish demo one cd We want to open only palm.xml. See, 2.5.9. What is the version of this Spring Cloud team? Oh, I did not use cloud okay, dependencies. That's why it won't come. Let me add again. File, new, Spring Boot Starter. Spring Boot Starter, next cloud 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 bootstrap 
if it is a boom in spring boot web click on next and click on finish kitty please try to understand that's why i told working with spring boot spring cloud microservices services means you should have knowledge on spring boot also see what is the spring cloud version 2020.05 now the version is 2.6.x it is 2021.0x understood team any questions team sir what is this name you see all these names are london in london uh, country some train names team the author guy whoever is okay, writing the code over while that guy was traveling you know in london so all these are london train names dalston edgeware Finchley, Greenwich, Hawkshan, all. So based on your Spring Boot version, the Spring Cloud version also, it would be there. Got it, team, everyone? Okay. Now we will see, team. Now we will see how to develop the, our application. Now we will see how to develop the, our application. Okay. First application we are going to develop, team. First application we are going to develop. See now, to develop a project, we need Spring Boot also required. We need Spring Cloud also is required. Spring Cloud, you cannot write two parent forms in one single form.xml. That's why, that's why we have added under dependency management dependencies. This is used to, to get the required all the dependencies. Sir, understood, sir. Any questions, please ask me. Any during our project development, I may need a Spring, I may need a Spring MVC, I may need a Spring Data JPA, I may need my application development, I may need so many. But for my tools like integrating, my tools like deployment, my tools like monitoring, all the tools are required by who? Spring Cloud team. Spring Cloud dependencies please check team any questions you can ask yeah yeah okay team now here see with this knowledge we done this this is called team this is called see bomb bomb stands for bill of material how many see all this netflix ribbon jewel hystrix all will be coming from where spring cloud these are the third party tools understood team now we'll see practically first application we are going to see team what is first application Spring Cloud Config Server. First, before we going to write, first we will write a problem statement. Why I should learn this? Next, we should go for how to implement. Problem statement. Next, we will go for how to implement it. Okay, without knowing, okay. Okay, implementation, I don't think so. It is no, no use team. Okay. What is the first okay, problem statement team? Can anyone explain whoever is attended for Spring Boot? In Spring Boot, where is the configuration team? Like your database details, like your server port, like, you know, your URIs, like your profiles. Generally, Spring Boot applications where placed this configuration details team? Can you explain? Application. 
yes exactly sir so application dot properties file application dot properties file or application dot yaml file application dot properties file or application dot yaml file sir now we'll see let us assume that i have a four micro services service one or three services service one service two service three generally my configurations are available where here service one service two service three okay one two three now here we have a configuration inside of your microsystem service you have a configuration here we have a configuration here inside of this microsystem service you have a some configuration means your application dot properties file you have a configuration here inside this you have a configurations here as per our previous classes discussions what is there inside of this configuration what is there okay inside of this configurations seeing configurations would have what is there okay inside of this configuration number one number one database url username password number two actuator and two points what we have okay, discussed number three actuator and two points okay, enabled or okay, disabled enabled or disabled number three team what is number three just try to understand number three is redis server details server url comma redis server port number see how many are there so many are there number 14 your server dot port number five team our some properties also would be there so many are their team here so now what happened you know so your application is there okay application is working good first you know when we are working on microservice based application development if we package the application okay inside of the our vocabulary application configuration okay, inside of the application only our there if we package the application configuration within the application by placing is as part of application dot yaml file or or you know okay application dot properties file see now very very important what is the step one if we when we are work on when we are working on micro services based application development we should package the application configuration within the application by placing application dot properties or yaml file step number two let us we will deploy the application application into server third one all our problem statements if any changes are required in the configuration 
if any changes are required in the configuration here is started actual problem statement if any changes are required in the configuration then then please we need to modify it we need to modify it comma rebuild rebuild comma repackaging rebuild comma repackaging of the rebuild comma repackaging of the application and then deploy the application application into server deploy the application into server deploy the application into server understood team very very important so every time after a small issue we need to build the application deploy the application into your server suppose if we are running on microsoft okay if you are running microsoft services applications if you are running the microsoft services applications in containerized environment that means like a docker then we need to build the image how to build the image and all in okay docker team build the image build the image and deploy it into deploy it into deploy it into server build the image and okay deploy it into artifacts artifacts or docker hub and so on port to one okay shift to one team see to do this every time right what happened you know in in 10 years back if you ask any some a say you know can you change the properties file the dev environment or change anything some properties file we would ask you know minimum for four days time why we should tell hey we should deploy we should do modify the code and deploy you know okay, test the code and okay, deploy the application into server like that we should tell how much cost it will be you know four days means approximately your client will spend you know your client will spend approximately 120 dollars see seriously okay every day okay every day okay means okay eight hours okay eight four is a 32 hours your client okay it will be more cost more cost and also so what happened here time delaying every time you should build and deploy the application it may be a it may be a credit cache change it may be a uh, you know okay database okay it may, may be a server port whatever it if any changes are required we need to modify and okay restart the again server so much of stuff we should do the question is can we can we can we inject the configuration without without rebuild comma without rebuild comma restart the server without rebuild comma deploy the application okay without okay. can we inject the configurations into application can we inject the configurations into application can we inject the updated configuration into into the application without rebuilding and okay, deploy restart the 
server answer is yes we need to externalize we need to externalize externalize means in the bracket move move the configuration from outside yes we need to externalize move the configurations from outside we need to externalize that means move the configurations from outside we need to externalize means move the configurations from outside outside of application outside of application we need to externalize the configuration that is move the application move the outside of the application move the outside of the application we need to externalize the configuration that is that is that is move configuration from outside of the application outside of the application outside of the application how to how to move okay, i will explain to you the common configuration which is required across all the microservices the common configuration which is required across all the microservices that would be moved into where one place that would be moved into where one place you need to externalize the configurations externalize externalize the configuration externalize means what happened here service one properties service two properties service three dot service one properties service two properties and service three properties team all configurations should be moved into where here all configurations should be moved into where here understood team so if any changes are required you need to apply your changes in where here it will be reflected automatically into where your applications see here move your configuration don't keep any application related configuration configuration inside inside of the project move to external location move to external location move to external location move to external location understood team move to external so, location uh, sir in, in older time when there were any configuration changes then you need to rebuild application every time yeah every time you should rebuild and again you should deploy okay okay restart okay. your application you should do right now in this approach what happened you don't need to any okay restart your application you don't need to any modify your application just you will update into where your external file somewhere now how Got to it. see okay how to read the properties file can anyone tell okay how to read the properties file team team how to at read the, the properties property. file team? At yeah at the rate property. value right yeah yeah so now using at the rate value you can read the data from the properties file from external how to read the values from the okay, external how to read the values from the okay, external team now is important ms config server 01 see now i would say this external config is nothing but git team i would say this external config is nothing but git now here see it is a git repository team. I would say it is also called external server. External configuration. Git repository. Git repository. It is external configuration. It is external configuration. What is there inside of this external configuration? 
application dot properties file please concentrate how many micro services we have we have three micro services application iphone profile file dot properties file application iphone profile dot properties file okay next one this will be common for every micro service okay next one i have a micro service one dot properties please try to understand team i will explain okay, everything i have micro service iphone dev i don't want to write too many iphone prod i have a two two as of now i have two micro services if you want to add one more you can add it's not a problem but treat please try to understand in our client 100 micro services are there all the micro services configuration all the micro services configuration is available here here okay, instead of two here other services service 3 c team here application name syntax team application name dot properties file application name iphone profile dot properties file profile dot properties file okay team now we'll see now here what we'll do application dot properties file application iphone dev dot properties file application iphone prod dot properties file let's try to understand team now i have these three are there okay good it is a one git repo team okay inside of the git repo all this configuration is available inside of this git repo all the configuration is available team now now we should go here here we have a config server how to enable this config server i will explain to you we have a config server can anyone explain how to connect to git repo can anyone explain how to connect to git repo team anyone explain how to connect to git repo team how to connect to git repo team how to connect to git repo okay interviews are asking can anyone explain no one team anyone is pinged here no one how to connect to git repo oh god in our I know basic team yeah. sorry yeah you can clone your project uh, from git no 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 my question is without cloning first you should connect git repo right yes how to do so git repo and up this team and you need to put the repository name no 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 so okay okay then. i think i'm not understanding your question no no how, how to commit to asking how to connect to git repository from your local git init git init is all when that is in your local repo git init see you want to clone you want to push you want to put before all operations you want to do first step what you will do go to github and create your repository ah okay after that come to your local what yes. you will do git pull. local what you do huh? local create. you need to provide git url username and password to connect to git repo right okay yeah my question is how to connect to git repo you have url okay github url you have username you have password please try to understand team you have url you have username you have password how to do it now here see so you are connecting into your git repo by providing url username and password okay what you want you are asking application name as the input application name as the input application name as the input and you give application name as the input what happened it will goes to here if your application name is let's assume that your application name is service one 
then what happened you know it will read service one properties file by default application load properties file will be loaded suppose very very important team please if you understand this easy your input is application name name is equal to service one then output is output is service hyphen one dot properties file and output is application dot properties file would be loaded for all the services use case two your input is application dot hyphen service one your input is profile is equal to dev what happened application service one iphone properties file will be loaded service one iphone dev properties file will be in loaded application dot properties file would be loaded application iphone dev dot properties file would be loaded so if you give the information config server has the responsibility to connect to, to your git repo by providing git repo url username and password it will fetch the data from the your git repo it will get the data from the git repo now it will read all the properties file from the git repo it will read all the properties files from the git repo it will give to whom your micro service micro service one micro service two now what happened here here we have service one here we have service two understood now every micro service should call to what every micro service should call to what this config server this config server Config server has the responsible. Config server has the responsible to get the. Here you need to pass here application name iPhone profile. You need to pass here application name iPhone profile. Application name iPhone profile. Now what happened? So it will talk to based on your application application name it repo if you pass the application name what happened service one dot properties file will come and uh, you know service one iphone dev dot properties file will come application dot properties file will come application iphone dev dot properties file will come now what is this job is here server config it will expose the rest api it will expose the rest api so it is an it is an one of the rest api config server is a rest api it will expose the endpoints to retrieve the configuration for the micro service understood team now here please if you show one example you will be able to know this config server will we look expose your rest endpoint config server will expose will expose the rest endpoint or okay rest endpoints or okay rest api to retrieve the configuration for the micro service to retrieve the configuration for that micro service okay team i will see practically how this configuration will be maintained here how it will be read from here now we will see practically okay everything team now start so i am stopping all these applications team first to what should be ready our git repo should be ready is first to point our git repo it should be ready team what i will do i will go to my git repo github.com team you can use local or you can use okay remote team okay it's not a problem cno.learning or i can use cno.cnotech is not a problem sino dot sino tech the password here 
first I need to set up my okay, git repo team. How to get this git repo? Yeah. Now let us see. I will create one small okay, git repo team. What is the git repo project configuration? For project maybe e-commerce application. E-commerce application is the okay, git repo team. Let's assume that e-commerce application is the git repo. Okay. Now it is a public repo. Create a repository ID team. I don't have patience to clone, check out, check in, and all. I can do it. Okay, instead of that, I can do it from here, here, here also. I can do it from here also, team. How to create the files and all. Okay, anyhow, I am set up in my okay, Git repo team. Very quick, I will do. Git iPhone repo. Git iPhone repo. Git dash. Git dash. Now oh, here. What will do so go to in this location I'm set up in my git repo team cd b colon cd fib java examples git repo done here now what i will do team so you can do whatever you want i am doing git init add readme it is a the first one right git init add readme i am using team test it is a simple one okay pwd it was like expecting to move to create in our local e-commerce application. New folder, e-commerce application. Go to here, CD, e-commerce application. Hit init. It read me. It add read me. Sir, it either create local read me or git pull. Just do git pull once. Just enter. Done. Enter done. Okay, so so uh, follow the third or fourth step there. Uh, uh, do all tap, all tap. Uh, go to there. Yeah, second last line. Uh, no, on the same. Uh, git remote add origin. So I have not added or uh, I mean remote. This one you were asking. Before that. No, no. I can create a, one readme file here. I can do it. Okay, it's not a problem. Go to here, new file. Simple it is, I can create. Why it is the file is yes. new file. Yeah. No need text. Read me dot done. Now I can go ahead here. Add read me. Okay. Team, I can do, uh, you know, okay, already okay, inbuilt team. But I don't want to do, I want to do okay, everything from the scratch so that you guys can able to feel git commit how to push and all. I am using just time check out this branch, all commands I am I am using here. Done. 
how to push application git remote add origin done now git push whatever file is there you have git push those who don't know git no problem same thing you can create in your local repo and you can also do it or it is giving error means permission means i could not login into my git repo first okay i should login into my okay okay git repo team okay you need to okay see here okay without login okay it won't come team no problem even though it is logging is not working no problem i can create all my git repo in my local in my local is this one the properties uh, right. yes but here there is another issue sir yeah yeah uh, you you need to do one thing uh, manage windows credentials you go to windows machine i think yeah uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah no so, i know i know i don't want to make complex i will do yes, that also uh, okay windows like credentials for long time yes okay yeah you can do using okay okay you can use your like ssh also okay, instead of https it would be easy okay right okay i will tell you sir okay, not a problem now here see go to here new properties what you will do start properties file service one dot properties file copy service one hyphen dev dot properties service one hyphen team will go lunch in 10 minutes team please have some patience now priority done so now good. Now what we should do? Another file is called application dot properties file. Another file is called application iPhone dev dot properties file. application iphone dev dot properties file okay. okay understood team application dot properties file application iphone dev dot properties file all are good the next one team all are good team now the okay, next one so it is our configuration properties file now i need to create one spring cloud how to create my spring cloud config server team inside of this you have the url username and password how to do okay, i will explain team inside of this properties file you should have url username and password or whatever configuration is there i would tell those configuration team now what we'll do git add Git commit hyphen m added properties files all added all added team no good now you should add some okay, entries how to add okay, entries that I would explain to you next one is go to your file new others file new others not others file new spring boot starter it is a spring cloud config server let us assume that my configuration is done let us assume that my configuration is done now i need to use my now i need to use if my configuration is done now I need to use called how to write config server. 
Spring Cloud, Config Server Team, Spring Cloud, Config Server Team. How to write this config and all? Now we'll see practically. How to use Spring Cloud Config Server? Spring Cloud also is not required. Config Server. In real time, generally, who is your client? City Bank. City iPhone Config Server. Let's assume. Demo of Spring Cloud Config Server. Demo. Point zero. No. Are good. Click on next. Here I need to use what? I need to use. I don't need all my. I need to use. No need uh, web apps and all. Let's see. Let's see. What we need? Spring Cloud boot is required first. Config server is required first. Dev tools are required. You can use it. Okay, instead of modifying, okay, every time. Spring Cloud Config Server. Config Server, yeah. Spring Cloud Config Server. I am using team. Are you exposing any kind of points? No. The Spring Cloud Config Server will take care of everything. Click on next. Each version you want to use, least version 2.5.9. Next. Finish team. Okay. It is a normal Spring Boot application. To enable this normal Spring Boot application as, to enable this normal application as Spring Cloud Config Server, Spring Cloud Config Server. What you will do it here, you know, you need to, you need to expose, you need to expose team. See here, I am writing Spring Cloud dependencies. This testing is not required. Dev tools is required. Spring Cloud config server team. So how to expose this normal as a Spring Cloud config server means you have to know annotation is called other enabled config server. Other enabled config server. In git repo team, in git repo, now here you should do spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot git server dot git if you want connect to to if you want connect to to your remote you have to give uri username and password but whereas here see if you want to provide the your remote github url you should give server github uri username password i should give but here i want to give my local team uri here is my local here uri should give see how whether it will take it or not we'll see you think you should take as a reverse Let's see, we will take. See, this is, you don't need to write any code here. During your application startup, it will be connecting into your local GitHub or remote GitHub. It will be able to connect to, to your remote server. It will be able to connect to, to your remote server. Get the data. Get the data. You have to write only this application dot properties file. You have to write only application dot properties file team. Application dot properties file. This application dot properties file has the responsibility 
application dot properties file is your responsibility to connect to your git repo connect to your git repo read the data and get the data read the data and get the data you know get the properties file t okay now let's see it is happened now here see if you are not specify default to port number is 80 80 default port number is 80 80 now what happened run as java application it may take some time team to build your application Eight zero eight zero is already used in our other places. Server dot port is equal eight zero eight one. Spring boot. During your application startup only. good team your application got started now okay, application got so started now now we'll see let us assume that how to access your application let us assume that i want to access this application go to here server one dot properties file server one dot properties file you can write here db username db url db url is equal to the properties file right url is equal to http local host colon slash test username srinu password let's assume that add commit done what happened i will start my application spring boot application i will start team how to access this application 8081 you have to access the http colon local force to colon 8081 slash 8081 slash this one dot properties file you'll see excellent error what is error cannot clone or check out here okay repository it is not taking as a this path team it should be take as wherever it is there either you should give replace all so if any replace happen automatically restart because the dev tools are there no such file label is master spring cloud config server enabled sorry it is taking default as it is taking default as a uh, main because if you see here which branch it is which branch it is branches get to branch it is a main branch i should inform to my you know i should inform to my spring cloud 
please take as a please take as a please don't consider as a main okay i should inform to my spring cloud please take label as a main not master team by default your spring cloud by default okay, git repo is by default okay, git repo was master team that's why it was okay, trying to read master i am informing that spring cloud config server git default label is main team go to here start it see you got these details now our interesting is what is interesting one our interesting our goal is next one how to read the values from here how to read the values from here without without restarting my micro services without rebuild my micro services i will modify the configuration in git repo how to reflecting into your micro services now we will see practical team one spring cloud config server In cloud config server okay okay team now we are good why oh, null point exceptions and all one second okay now let's see team spring cloud config server in your real time what happened build path configure build path This unit test case is SSD. We have deleted, right? All this unit test cases is no need. Yeah. See team, now currently I am referring from local team. Currently I am referring from local. See, I can give my GitHub team, okay, so got a result. I can give my okay, GitHub also team. Let me give. First, I will test it from here. How to enable your config server team? How to enable this config server? Run as Java application, Spring Boot application. Okay, team, it is good. Now my application got started, team.
earlier we used to connect from local team local git rep now i moved all the properties files into my git repo now i should connect you know my spring cloud config server to okay, git repo team how to connect spring cloud config server to git repo how to connect spring cloud config server to git repo now here cd so you have to use okay you have to use team application dot spring cloud config server git uri dot git dot username what is my username srinu learning you want to see what is my username srinu learning team here here your username would be there but how to give password spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot git dot password team what is the password here just assume that now now i am connecting i am not doing my local team if you want i can delete this local itself i am not doing local it is not connecting into my local now if you see it is connecting to a remote repository team go to here refresh all are okay now here done team see dev if i give some prod it should read from the prod team okay done now interesting application is how to call my micro services team how to call the micro service i am creating one micro service how to call this micro service now very very important please concentrate please concentrate how to call this micro service team okay team now here see now i am creating one simple rest api i am creating one simple rest api how to read the db url username and password how to read the db url username and password i should do no team how to url how to db username and password okay i should know team now please concentrate here team earlier i have used that spring cloud config server here now very very important see my document to connect to this spring cloud config server here it is exposing a okay, rest endpoint right it is a okay, endpoint right where the end point you should write means here here you will write that okay, rest end point how to write now here see practically we are going to see that one second example five new others others not others five new spring boot starter now city iphone config server instead of that i should go for it is okay example to city only service one team service one is service one example to iphone service one it is service one it is okay now dedicate i am using now here see microsoft service one team dev tools is common dev tools are common spring cloud bootstrap is common now here spring cloud don't use this config server instead of config now here earlier you are using config server spring cloud config server now i should use spring cloud config client team spring cloud config client this config client is used to 
this config client is used to to connect to, to spring cloud config server to connect to, to spring cloud config server team i am using config client since it is a web application i am adding spring boot starter web click on next finish click on next finish team go your pom.xml you have starter web, web is there to develop the application you have spring cloud starter to boost up your application spring cloud starter config it is a you can write in comments in our xml also okay it is a spring cloud config client it is a spring cloud config client spring cloud config client team okay team now next what we'll do see how to write one simple rest api team i don't want to write complex one class com dot stenotech just assume that user service user controller okay. what i should do here at the rate rest controller at the rate rest controller at the rate it mapping public string public string details are get user details here what you will do now here you should go for at the rate value at the rate value dollar okay private string db url private string db username private string password team go to here db url is this okay and where is the db username db username db password Okay, now get user details return return database details are database details are db url db url yes this time giving team username this password that's it the name db url sir that's it oh see how it happens just if you access one at the rate get mapping slash users that's it what is your application port number team application port number server dot port server dot port 090 but one one interesting see if you want during your application startup if you want to load any configuration you need to add that configuration inside of bootstrap dot properties file bootstrap dot properties file it is used to to initialize to bootstrap during your application startup if you want any properties files are required you should use this okay you should use this 
Spring Cloud, you know, bootstrap dot properties file T. What we should use here, you know, Spring dot application dot name. What is my name? Service iPhone one is my application name. Next one, Spring dot cloud dot config dot URI. What is the URI? URI. What is your micros? What is your Spring Cloud config server URI? What is your Spring Cloud config server URI? Spring Cloud config server URI. Spring Cloud config server URI. See, whenever this statement it will be executed, what happened? You know, during your application startup, it will be appended. How it will be appended? It will be appended HTTP colon localhost during your application startup. You, it is, I'm giving here because the comments and properties file like this, your URI slash that is wherever your URI is there, URI slash application name. URI slash application name. This URI. So it will frame this this URI. It will connect to, to your Git repo. It will connect to it will call to your config server. Config server will call to your Git repo. Service one default properties. What are there with the default properties? You can go not any profile it will read all the properties db url username and password t i will save side i will add one more stuff Great. value how how it will read the values from the properties file also not only for application dot you know not only for application how this application iphone properties file yeah here also we have if you are not pass anything default will come if you pass anything okay if you pass anything that value will come that's fine no problem okay now we'll go to now we'll go to here no need here no need here now here see all good team let's start now So now here, if you give your application name, th this application name related data will be coming and okay, displaying. If you are not passing any application name, default application dot properties file would be loaded team. All good. Now we will see. Run as Spring Boot. Why? Config data missing. Application started file during an exception. Spring Boot dev tools class loader restart the class. One second. One second. run as java application understood team what is your goal why it is asking goal and all run as mvn install team if you give run as mvn install it should work now i am going to start my spring boot application build path configure build path it should be referred to jdk8 
now go to here no spring import has been defined no spring Im import has been de defined team one second no spring bean import has been defined why it is coming application startup got failure no spring It is expecting an environment for what? Spring cloud upgrade generate circuit testing error. One second. Spring cloud config enabled is equal to false. which is a problem with after upgrading to spring cloud this spring cloud or we need to add this dependence team during bootstrap this one is loaded right during bootstrap okay, this one is okay, loaded right to load this we need add bootstrap okay, dependence team not the startup dependencies bootstrap of dependencies now it should work team see now run as run as mv install team okay team now here see see now okay how to read the okay, properties file so now here I am using this during your application startup. It will connect to your Spring Cloud Config server. Spring Cloud Config server will connect to your okay, external server. Okay, that is called here. Okay, Git repo. Okay, team. Now I got all the values from the Git repo. How to read all the all the values from the Git repo? username okay db url username and okay db url okay username and password team okay, that's fine good okay, next one is what is next one now if i am trying to access here i got the all the okay, details team now i want to load the okay environment based properties file what i will do i will go here run as configuration environment new or edit give as a prod it will load it will load as a production okay now here see team so it is already okay running team i will stop this one 90 service one i am stopping okay, this time right i am loading production and okay, environment based properties file run as run as spring boot app configuration okay, environment prod run team Okay, team. Now you will see 9090. What I will go here slash users. I got production. So we are able to read the properties file. 
we are able to read the properties file <coughs> now here same question is our rest api microsoft service is, is able to call spring cloud config server config server is able to call external config external configuration get the data from the external config team all are good now next one is very very important team suppose i am changing some properties how you are changing in local in local team i will change my configuration team here is your git repo examples here your git git repo suppose in production okay, property always will be confidential i am adding confidential team let's assume that whenever you will modify here without restart your server without restart your server okay, it should be a reflected team it add it commit it push team it add git commit git push team git add git commit git push team now go to here but unfortunately if you see did you get it i did some new value here did you get it or not here no sir no right okay very well yeah. sir no right no sir no sir, sir. can you please repeat once sir if you are okay respond yeah yeah okay sure now here see see it is my now i can explain like this okay i don't want to commit from my local it is my external configuration in in production i am okay editing from here i am changing my username and password value so because my production password would be changed for every 3 months every 6 months okay now i did commit and change done okay as per our config server use case we are why we are okay externalize the configuration outside without restarting your microservices these changes should be reflected without restarting this microservice this changes should be reflected but my services are running up and running spring cloud config server is up and running microservice service one is up and running go to here where you are testing here no is it okay reflected or not is it okay reflected or not verify your use new new values are Srinu iPhone prod iPhone confidential new new values are iPhone prod iPhone confidential is it okay reflected here or not no is sir respond team no sir okay reflected no right no right okay everyone yes no sir yes sir. right no yeah the problem is so okay without okay restart okay without restart how how it will be happened you know in our code right you have to write two things team in our code please okay, remember at the rate refresh scope is the one annotation at the rate refresh scope at the rate refresh scope annotation is used and never at the rate okay refresh scope is used at the rate refresh scope is used and never if any changes would be happened at the rate refresh scope wherever you are reading the properties file 
there you should use at the rate refresh scope at the rate refresh scope is used to reflect it will change automatically at the rate refresh scope is used whenever okay okay never any event would be occurred whenever any new change will be happened at the rate refresh scope what it will do it will always try to get the latest latest value at the rate refresh scope annotation refresh scope it is used it is used never never there is a change whenever there is a change in the configuration it will automatically it will automatically refresh the configuration it will automatically refresh the configuration automatically refresh the configuration see see team now it is got it or not yes yes team did you get it or not yeah. yes sir so yeah so okay, if you want to implement okay in your micro service if you are reading the configurations from the spring cloud config server your micro service should be declared as at the rate and refresh scope so that see you can do again oh, one more change here see it is my git repo okay what i will do edit edit i am removing all confidential everything i am removing everything i am removing go here commit changes commit changes see whenever do this because of a cut the okay, refresh scope whenever there is a change in the configuration it automatically refresh the configuration see commit go to here refresh refresh here is if it is production only right what happened one second team so we need to use one actuator of endpoint team let me add actuator endpoint why it is actuator of okay, endpoint okay, i will explain team why it is actuator of endpoint i will explain actuator spring boot actuator team it will restart again spring boot actuator it will be okay restart again there is a see whenever one second it is okay restarted okay it came team i am not okay, expecting like this without restarting how it works now here see very important you you have to know small thing team at the rate refresh scope on this class which is holding the properties through the value uses there is a actuator uri refresh okay http colon localhost 9090 slash actuator as refresh and refresh okay to point refresh okay to point team it is used it is used to refresh the consumer to load refresh the consumer to load the latest to changes from the latest to changes from the spring config server 
this annotation is used this okay end point is used okay actual trend point to refresh the consumer to load the latest changes from the config server latest changes from the config server understood team so once you got so, so refresh sir one question you need both at the rate refresh is yeah. annotation as well as you need to call this api yes 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 okay i will explain why this is used to to refresh the consumer consumer means our service one instead of you are refreshing your microsystem service th this end point is okay refreshing your microsystem service to load the to load the latest changes from spring config server once it is loaded the updated values will be hold by this refresh scope updated values would be loaded this okay, refresh scope refresh scope annotation is used is used to hold to holding to holding the properties through the at the rate value annotation at the rate value annotation so let us see okay, in spring boot i have a okay, explain team how to okay, expose your okay, end point in spring boot i have okay, explain how to okay, expose your okay, end point team you, you have two things okay enabled and okay and okay expose team let's see this refresh scope is default enabled it should be okay if not enabled we have to we have to enable this how to enable okay i will explain team it is a get one or post one it is a post one team it is not a get one you can see what is the actuator actuator slash actuator slash actuator slash refresh see it is a post method sim it is not a get method it is a post one it is not a get one it is a post one you need to add management dot okay end point dot web book okay, explorer okay dot okay include is equal to star, star means you are okay i will show you okay it should not work then i will come team it is not a get one it is a post one you are refreshing 404 uri is not found i am removing actuator 404 uri is not found what is our micro service uri 9090 slash refresh okay, and point uri slash refresh slash refresh actuator slash refresh go to spring documentation okay, centralized configuration you have to give slash refresh slash refresh ct at the rate refresh scope then triggering the refresh event it will internally it will okay, trigger the okay, event that's all okay what is my okay, end point slash refresh slash actuator is post to the clients to okay, refresh okay, end points my port number is 9090 404 uri not found no i would add in my properties file
management dot point what is that url management dot tend point dot web dot okay, exposure is equal to star whenever you change anything due to spring boot dev tools it will ring compile and load automatically go to here run here why it is happening body nothing is there actuator Publish exposure enabled and exposure okay, include is equal to star. It should work team. Nothing to surprise here. Enabled actuator. Either you can give in bootstrap dot properties file let me add this in our during our application startup how it works i will add team i will move from here to bootstrap dot application dot properties file management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot okay, include is equal to true that's correct or you can give okay, include is equal to refresh also it's not a problem Refresh you can give. Refresh you can give. Go to here. Actuator and refresh. Post JSON. What happened here? HTTP colon local host. It should work team. It should work. Refresh endpoints can be enabled all or no's. Refresh actuator content type is okay, application slash JSON. I give same here content type application slash JSON. If you go for your header why header is not happening application slash json it is a post http url content type application slash json body all good draw Four zero four actuator slash refresh. How to fix this issue means let us will start. How many okay, endpoints points we have? Star endpoints. points. How this okay info okay, endpoint point is working or not? First, we need to st start from the okay, info. We need to start from the okay, info. If info endpoint is working, it should also work. HTTP colon localhost 90 slash info. Info is not working. You need to add slash actuator slash info. Slash actuator slash info. Why it is not working? Go to your application management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure dot include info. Exposure dot include health 
exposure dot include refresh it is not happening here we have actuator in charge right actuator you have actuator everything is there go to here actuator info actuator 404 error means actuator is not working one second no need for this context path include all are okay include let's see pass refresh and actuate red points is giving 404 is not working team all are okay helpful to you also actuator we have added everything is good slash actuator spring to and greater you need to have management endpoint web exposure can include refresh set in the we have accepted this in either bootstrap dot or yaml file nothing is wrong here we did it already you want again we'll do it then after that refresh scope refresh scope also is there and refresh scope and legend for the application event management dot end point all good slash actuator slash refresh cdp colon local host no messages are available it is a post one it is not a get body raw raw or form data or raw only how come it was working earlier very clear without having any any issues one second team Mm -hmm. Okay, team. Let me check again. Not a problem. I will check team. Okay, in some time, okay, I will check why it is not working. Because if you give right, okay, whenever you will give, you have to okay refresh this okay actuator. If you okay, refresh right, it will refresh automatically. Is our Spring Cloud config server is up? How to check team? Spring Cloud config. Server, it is up and running. Health, uh, health one. We have. Everything is okay here, yeah. madam. Sorry. Health, health endpoint. We need to uh, check for the status yeah, of me, the application. Yeah, check that also. It also is not working. Maybe let me check my application. Application. Go to my actuator. Here is the actuator here. Spring Boot actuator. It's fine. How to configure your properties file? Bootstrap. Let me enable both. Let me enable both endpoints management dot endpoints dot web dot exposure is equal to refresh 
let me restart team once my application service one i am stopping now nothing is new new team here correct only run as mvn install Let's see team, which version of uh, we are using this 2.5.9. Not a problem. Now let's see. Run as Spring Boot app. First, why this these endpoints are not working? Actuator endpoints it should work info 9090 actuator info actuator info is not working. If we fix that, we can fix other setting. Matrix endpoints is not working. Actuator matrix management dot okay endpoints dot matrix enabled is equal to true. We will enable all our star. We will enable all our star okay instead of one by one. Management dot copy from here management dot management dot matrix dot endpoint is equal to true team all the endpoints I am make it as a star Here info for matrix dot enabled is equal to true. Okay. Okay. Let me I will add this also. I will add refresh also is equal to true. Now management dot matrix team here the exposure dot matrix what happened here now go to here are we able to access this matrix or not actuator dot matrix yeah, I got this matrix what I understood now, you need to enable info also. Info. Info. Info enabled is equal to true. We need to enable look info also. Here I am not will do info here it should come team yeah it is working so we need to enable as well as we should expose by default it will be enabled team that's why i am not okay provided by default it will be true only go for health health okay, enabled as well as okay, exclude team Health. You have health here. Management dot endpoint dot health dot enabled is equal to true here. 
expose is equal to true d actuator dot health actuator dot health in this case now let's see okay now actuator dot okay refresh team this is post one body raw application slash json 404 same response resource not found okay i will fix it team only for a okay, refreshing right okay i will fix it okay, no problem so okay without a okay, refreshing how to now presently we are seeing team how to read the configuration details details from external from okay, git report team okay, next to use case team what is the next use case in your real time this i will look explain to you okay, i don't want to waste our time in our real time now here what happened you know 99 percent in our real time you should not store this data let us assume that you have a password you should not store this data in plain text format team please go to mute please please go to mute team see okay, in your real time you should not store this data as a plain text team you should not store this okay, data as a plain text now how to okay, encrypt the data so most of the see in so now here in configuration configuration it is not recommended okay, in configuration file not recommended not recommended to keep plain text data to keep plain okay, text data if you want add this now here you have to okay, encrypt we have to okay, encrypt the data we have to okay, encrypt the data wherever it is required you should okay, decrypt the data wherever it is required you should okay, decrypt that data now here team very very important team first one spring cloud config server spring cloud config server it is my git repo it is my external configuration it is git repo it is external configuration here we have the concept is called properties is equal to, you need to give here it is a plain text let's assume that the plain text is password 123 now okay, instead of plain text what you will do it is a password here instead of password what will do password is equal colon cipher cipher now some encrypted value how to do this okay, encryption to do the okay, encryption here again okay actuator is okay, required to team to do the okay, encryption here again here okay, actuator is okay, required team how to do the okay, encryption is very very okay, important team how to do the okay, encryption is okay, very very okay, okay, important team okay i will explain that one now please concentrate you need to apply the okay, encryption here store into git repo now here we have a config spring cloud config server here we have a micro spring cloud config server here we have a micro service team here it is micro service here it is spring cloud config server spring cloud config server team now what happened whenever you got here it will go to here now it will go to here team 
how to apply this okay, encryption okay i will explain to him we need some okay some key is required using that key we are applying okay encryption using that key we are applying that okay encryption team so now whenever you are trying to read you got the okay, encryption value either you should decrypt it here or case one case one team how to okay, encrypt okay, i will explain decrypt here decrypt here and send plain text to micro service decrypt here send plain text to micro service now second send a okay, encrypted value as it is as it is to micro service okay team now please try to understand team okay team how to do it here okay encryption and all okay let me okay, okay explain team so a yeah, here if if we'll get plain text then use it b if we will get encrypted text then then decrypt decrypt here decrypt here means at a micro service level okay, decrypt here micro service level and use the and get the plain text team and get the plain text okay how to use this okay use case team please try to understand how to use this okay, use case please okay, try to understand team okay, next example i am creating one spring cloud config server using spring boot using spring boot i should use here i should use here actuators also here but only thing is i am using here i am using here both okay encryption how to do okay, encryption properties i am using here how to do okay, encryption properties okay i should use team here spring cloud config server next i should use here 0 3 hyphen encrypted spring cloud city config server team click on next click on next now here i should add config server i should add only config server team it is config server okay team now okay, next one team what is the next one here i should add my actuators actuators spring boot actuators the next one team no need web and all okay, it's not required for safe side you may use okay dev tools are required spring boot okay dev tools are already available here click on next team click on finish team third one how to connect to your git repo at the rate enabled config server at the rate enabled config server team here code is done team here application dot properties file i should write here third step application dot properties file i should use what i should use this application dot properties file is not important whatever here github username and password same team whatever github okay, username and password same copy here copy here you should copy go to here i am using team because okay, nothing is new here connecting into github url username and password connecting into github url username and password team now good here i am giving 9090 what is here port number team okay i am giving here 9091 team okay now here see how to apply the encryption team now you can write you can do one bootstrap data properties file go to here you have to add one key team you have to add one key here forget about all this stuff add one key encrypt add one key encrypt see encrypt dot 
key key is equal to my encrypt or whatever it my encryption key any key you can give it in my encryption key please try to understand my encryption key either you can keep it here or you can keep it bootstrap data properties file no problem team now see there is a actuator of end point is called there is a actuator of end point is called so actuator of end point is called slash of encryption team slash encryption what this slash encryption will do it will perform encryption it will perform okay encryption team let's see how how it will do it is not a get one team it is a post one go to here okay i need bootstrap dot okay it is able to connect to your git rep also is okay the application also is okay all are good team now here are the red enabled config server okay everything is okay now start this application start this application okay team now we will see it is it is started team now what i will do here clearly is happening base path is equal to work actuator team let's see now what i will do team go to here http colon local host to colon 9091 slash 9091 slash team if you give 9091 slash then what happened team you have to you have to be there is a url is called look encrypt slash you can encrypt team slash you can encrypt slash you can encrypt body plain text you will give what is your password team go for your application in your password is this one in production Two hundred team. Here is your response. Why here is the response? Console here. Two hundred. See, you got the response here. Response body. This is your. This is your okay, encryption value team. Copy. Th this is your okay, encryption value team. Please okay, try to okay, understand. Okay, encryption value it is. Encryption value team. Understood. Set the okay, encryption okay, enabled property is equal to false in Bootstrap. Spring Cloud Config Server okay, encrypt enabled is equal to false team. By default, see. Okay, I will explain in 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 Bootstrap. Now here, what we will do? See, you got the okay, encryption value team. Hope you are good team. Okay, instead of real value, now you are doing okay, encryption okay, of this value. Okay, here structure is like this. Why can't I see my whole body here? Yeah. See team. Now you got okay, an encryption value here. I'm going into my Git repo. Okay, editing team. Edit the file. Instead of real password. Okay, instead of real password here. E-commerce application. Why 
why it is not is equal to here we will do k is equal to t instead of real one here we will take this one t but how your spring cloud knows how your spring cloud knows it is a it is a k encryption value means before you should add cypher team before you should add cypher team all are good team now here see done done team now let's see so now instead of a plain text file in production i have added the okay, encryption value okay instead of plain text in production i have added the okay, encryption value here if you add this okay, encryption value if you add this okay, encryption value now what will do go to your microsoft service team please okay, try to okay, understand now okay you will access your okay your okay, application okay how to okay, access your okay application now see okay it is started okay it is started okay now how to read http colon local host colon 9091 slash slash so okay, how to access slash your application dot properties file slash prod dot properties file okay no such label it is okay, expected only i should add uh, default one as main one i should give default take it as main one team that's it in cloud git default label is equal to main it should take see now i got it it is able to decrypt it here why it is able to decrypt here i need to inform my bootstrap here hello config server don't decrypt anything here by default the property is true here what property spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot can encrypt dot okay, enabled is equal to false team by default it is true now i am informing that please don't do any okay, encryption by default it is true means it will be apply for the okay, decryption also now i am informing that please don't do any any okay, encryption here now we'll see spring dot cloud dot config dot one second team spring dot cloud dot config dot config dot server dot server dot okay encrypted enabled is equal here you are giving false team reason is whenever you modified right is yeah now here c team now c team because you gave here spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot okay encrypt dot okay enabled is equal false team enabled is equal false whenever you are doing this changes team you are see here your spring cloud it is not going to decrypt as it is it is sending to whom you are microsoft service team now what your microsoft service will do remember whenever you are applying your encryption it will use internally this key team it will use okay, internally this key wherever you want to decrypt you should use this key it is called in symmetric encryption if you apply 
book encryption with one key you should decrypt with the same key it is called symmetric encryption so i don't want to decrypt at my config server level that's why here i made as a false if you give as a true team see if you give as a true now what happened by default it is true only by default it is true only go to here see you got this value see if you okay if you don't want to decrypt at config server level you need to provide if you want to decrypt here you should don't configure anything if you don't want to okay, do okay decrypt it here you have to give spring cloud config server spring cloud config server enabled is equal to false spring cloud config server okay enabled is equal to false whenever you will do this okay what happened you know instead of doing here now okay it will do it here team now we'll see now i i need to write one micro okay, service here how to read the okay, encryption properties from the configuration file file new spring boot starter how to do okay encrypted okay encrypted service one look at it it is a four click on next here I need to use web because actuator is required, bootstrap is required, dev tools are required, config client is required, and web is required. These are the required team. Let's see. Now here C team, you have to require, let's see. Now here, what we should do here? Here, default to team, you need two properties files are required. Bootstrap.ok okay, properties file is, is used to during your application startup to connect to your config server. During your application startup team to connect to your config server what are the to connect to your config server what are the you know what are the changes are required all you are going to give your okay, bootstrap dot okay, properties file team i am closing all of others team please how to read the okay, encrypted values from the how to read the encrypted values from the how to read the encrypted values why it is error spring boot you have a okay, actuator spring boot you have web okay, everything is there team management dot what is the problem duplicate property management endpoint include include star management dot end point okay here we can enable the all our star team not a problem good now here see how how it works now we'll see Yeah, now I need to write one simple okay, REST API. I don't need okay, API team. I am copying this whatever I have okay, already okay, written. I am keeping here. I don't need to my time waste here. Only thing is how to read the this property in file team. Now we will see all are good. Everything is good. But what I 
मिश्र टीम हियर वेर एवर यू आर वेर एवर यू आर अप्लाइंग एनक्रिप्शन यू नीड टू यूज एनक्रिप्ट की टीम एनक्रिप्ट डॉट की दिस की वाट एवर की इज अवेलेबल हियर वाइल अप्लाइंग यू आर एनक्रिप्शन विद द सेम की यू शुड कीप टीम same key you should keep so that now we'll see now we'll see team so that you can okay decrypt it so that you can get okay, decrypt it but okay understood team so that you should okay decrypt it here i'm closing okay everything again i am open this one i am able to connect to my config server what is my properties file service dot one is my properties file which environment prod environment team what is here 9092 all are good now now we'll see so how to read the okay properties okay decrypted properties file here because of this key team encrypt dot key is equal to my encryption key that's it now here see here either you will do a okay, decryption here or you will do a okay, decryption here wherever you want to decrypt wherever you want to decrypt decrypt use the okay, encrypted key name use the okay, encrypted key use the okay, encrypted key name t understood if you okay, if you don't want to okay, decrypt it means use Spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot or can encrypt dot or can enable is equal to false team. Now okay, let's see. I am start this application. Run as mv install. Run as or can be installed. looks like it has not started team what is the reason unit test cases team okay now run as mv install again why again it is unit test cases i deleted right one second team which one it is trying to say run as mv and clean run as mv and clean team Yeah, it's done. Run as MVN install again. Understood, team. Now done. Let me start this as a Spring Boot application. Run as Spring Boot. Observe, team. In your GitHub, okay, in your Git, what value is there? Okay, encryption value is there. Now. how to keep this using slash okay, encryption okay, using slash okay, encrypt okay, which is uh, available in our spring cloud using this endpoint you are able to do it what is the other spring cloud config bootstrap you need to add because bootstrap okay dependencies we should add team spring cloud bootstrap okay dependencies we should add i think we have added right here no we did not add team spring cloud starter bootstrap dependencies we 
need to refresh no. run as spring boot application Nine zero, not this one team. We have added this Spring Cloud starter, run as Spring Boot application. understood team now done so now see i will access this one where i will access ctp colon localhost colon ctp colon localhost colon 9092 localhost colon 9092 slash users I got it. Even though in your GitHub you got this one, but while you are okay, refreshing team, so you got here also. Okay, you do okay. If you don't want okay, okay, decrypt means here hundred percent. If you want okay, decrypt team here also. If you don't want okay, decrypt, you need to add this property. What property? Cloud. Okay, is that okay property? Okay, you have to add that properties here we keep that one sorry here see spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot okay encrypt okay enabled is equal to false team see spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot Encrypt dot okay, encrypt spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot the problem with this dev tools spring dot cloud dot config dot server dot one second i would copy this one okay. if you want you could add this one okay team. so either you should add here or you should add here here we are adding not here i'm closing this here team so you are making as false it is here you are making as false now let's see started this one dot cloud dot config here spring here config okay you should not do it to team here always you should get it the value team because because you are reading from where your microsoft services team always your microsoft service will get the plain text team okay plain text team so this is the concept of concept of how to okay, encrypt the value inside of the your okay, external configuration and how to decrypt that value using here and here team in your real time always recommended always recommended go for okay here okay, encryption team always okay, recommended go for okay, encryption in our real time 
you should not do any plain text of your database details and all team always recommended use your okay, encryption properties file how to do okay, encryption means using this slash okay, encryption okay, endpoint you will use it and you will get it team now here see it's pink cloud so okay, external configuration external configuration with okay, encrypted values with okay, encrypted values team So now here, so use using this okay. Number one, number one. Keep okay, encrypted okay, encrypted dot key is equal some value in application dot properties file in application dot properties file or okay, YAML file or OML file. Team application dot properties file are bootstrap bootstrap dot properties file okay. number two. So use this use this okay end point okay. use this okay end point to get the okay, encrypted value to get the okay, encrypted value team okay, encrypted value so it is it is you know it is post okay end point it is post okay end point send you send the plain text in body in body it will give it will give an okay, encrypted text team it will give an encrypted text Get in. No. Get the encrypted text and update into get the encrypted text and update into your Git repo. Git repo. Get the encrypted text and update into Git repo and update into Git repo. Fourth one. Get the encrypted text and okay, update into git repo team. update into a git repo fourth one wherever required so now here use by default by default in cloud config server enabled is equal to true true so so that we can so this property will decrypt the decrypt the okay, encrypted value okay, encrypted value so if you want if we want if, okay, okay if you want to okay, disable the decrypt then then make this as make this make this okay, property as false false team okay got it team okay, are we good now let's see i will try here okay end points why this okay end points is not working here http colon localhost actuator http colon by default here it has okay enabled as a actuator team here it will be there base path is actuator http colon localhost localhost colon 209092 slash actuator slash info okay info is coming team info is coming here good I want to do same like uh, okay, health, health endpoint team, health also is okay, working team here, I want to do metrics here, metrics also is okay, working team here, 
now i will try refresh team now i will try re okay refresh refresh means now here see in github i am going to github edit password changes team updated without refreshing before updating cc he updating i am getting what values before updating service on iphone properties file i am getting this value now i am updating now in in git repo okay updating team go to my okay end point what is your end point here slash actuator slash refresh is a post one okay it should not work i know 405 not allowed come to here post body draw json refresh it should work team see your config client version has updated and ever you will give this you will go here without refreshing you are not refreshing anything team are you refreshing your microsoft service team no without refreshing see i got this value or not team without th this refreshing okay okay if you want to proof again okay team okay if you want to proof again team let's see i am changing here what do you want to change my username is spring cloud sino iphone prod spring cloud workshop okay let's assume that commit a team whenever you will do commit without refreshing your microsoft service you are not refreshing if you see here observe here can encrypted one you are not refreshing okay observe whenever you click on this slash actuator slash refresh see here see see here without you refresh this micro service internally it will be using bootstrap property source it will read this internally it will it will automatically it will restart and see you are in github it will refresh for what please see the logs team please see logs here is the logs i am not okay restarted manually please see the logs here i am not see here whenever you click on refresh it will internally your bootstrap dot properties file it will it will goes to your spring cloud you know uh, okay spring cloud config server it will go to your external server see it will refresh your github it will read the values from there here it will give to your other head refresh scope annotation team all values would be hold by other head refresh scope annotation see what are the properties file would be it would be refreshed here service one properties application dot properties and also you have your production properties file all it would be refreshed automatically team now if you go it here if you go here see got it or not understood team color good team so we have seen here okay okay if you want again class one team okay without okay, refreshing so okay in your real time you don't need to change any your microsoft services what you will do you will do your change here you are okay db okay url okay instead of test here you will give okay stack here db url commit here go to here send it that's it it will load automatically okay, everything 
come here now it is test refresh it now it is this so spring cloud config server is used to if any configuration file frequently it will be changing without refreshing without restarting without redeploying your micro services you just update your external configuration and run your actuator endpoint is called refresh so that automatically latest updated configuration file you can inject into your application with the help of other rate refresh scope annotations team understood team here so the question is question is okay, looks like now here please what are the steps team steps to implement steps to work implement okay steps to work implement okay without without restart micro service okay okay without restart micro service how to get the updated configurations how to get the updated configuration details answer is first one okay update let's assume that update the values in configuration file update the values in configuration file okay, second one what is the second one team here okay, second one is second one is please try to okay, understand team okay, second one is use actuator use slash actuator slash refresh endpoint to refresh the updated configuration to refresh the updated configuration to refresh and update the configurations at micro service third one red refresh scope at the rate refresh scope annotation is used at the rate refresh scope annotation is used to hold the values at the rate refresh scope is hold the is, is holding the properties to the to at the rate value uses that's it this is the concept of the spring cloud config so most of the real time what are the problems are there how these problems can be resolved using spring cloud config how these problems would be resolved using spring cloud config team how these problems would, would be resolved using spring cloud config first problem we already resolved team any questions team here you can ask now any questions here okay okay you can ask team now here okay internal team any questions team okay every micro service application application during during the boot up boot up has to has to invoke has to invoke config server has to invoke config server and load load the micro has to invoke the config server and load the micro services load the micro services configurations in a in a spring container in a parent ioc container in spring ioc you have two containers are there child container and parent container okay which seems to be boilerplate code we need to okay, every time it should write okay, instead of we will write okay, instead of we will write spring cloud has provided okay, spring cloud okay instead of 
we will write this boilerplate code spring cloud as provided has provided components called has provided components called and is spring cloud bootstrap that's why we need to add bootstrap another one is spring cloud config client these two will take care automatically during your application startup it will read the bootstrap.properties file it will read the bootstrap.properties file and in creates the you know and will okay, it will creates the it will read the bootstrap dot file and the if the it will verify if the value is present in this bootstrap or not if it is not present it will go for application dot properties file from there it will read the data understood team how to in our spring boot classes how to load the application dot properties file you know you are your spring boot will take care here who will load the bootstrap data properties file your spring cloud bootstrap okay, dependencies will take care to load the bootstrap data properties file to load the bootstrap to load the, the bootstrap dot yeah and yeah, one second sir and thing. inject the inject the values into environment object yeah okay, tell me sir yeah, first read the value of a bootstrap dot property file then yeah. if not found then we read to the application dot property file yes sir yes okay yes sir when you should go for bootstrap when you should go for application dot properties file if we want some properties some properties to be available to be available 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 during the time of bootstrap during the time of bootstrap bootstrapping the application bootstrapping the application then then place them place them in bootstrap dot properties file or yaml file i mean yml place them in bootstrap dot properties file or yaml file okay if if we have some properties if we have some properties which are if we have some properties which are applicas okay which are application specific are application specific and will not if we have some properties which are application specific and will not change over the time will not change over the time will not time then place them in place them in application.properties file the very important team now if we have some properties file which are which are if you have some okay, application specific properties file if we have some application specific properties files application specific properties file but those will change over the time like db username db password or redis endpoint or then place in cloud config server you may ask doubt so when i should go for cloud config and i should go for okay, application and i should go for bootstrap team understood team depends upon the requirement you should go for and you should go for bootstrap when you should go for Okay, application dot properties file. Then you should go for Spring Cloud Config Server means external configuration. External configuration. Got it, team. Number one. See, during application startup only, I want all the configuration properties. 
then i should go for bootstrap data properties file i need to connect to spring cloud config compulsory spring cloud config server uh, okay end point i should configure inside of the bootstrap only and also spring cloud config server is required my application name also during my application startup what are things are required i need my spring cloud config server is required i need my application name is required during startup it will connect to your spring cloud config server it will read all the configuration of the this application it will be placed into your environment object of your ioc container once it is available inside of the ioc container in our request will come to your application you can read the values from the ioc container using at the rate value annotation if you want some properties to available during the time of bootstrapping the application then place them in bootstrap.properties file if you have some properties which are application specific and will not be and will not be change over the time then place them in application dot always it is fixed actuator endpoint fixed you should go for application dot properties file if you have some application specific properties but those values would be change over the time means every one month every two months every three months if it is a banking application every six months your database password would be change now move to your config server in 2000 okay 12 or 13 team okay what happened every six months or okay every uh you know uh three months our production database would be change team what we did that password we should update it into properties file we should test it we would move into dev environment test environment it will take one week time team one week time client should pay the billing right billing to me billing to developer billing to qe team billing billing means funding billing to your uh, infrastructure guy to do the deployments for after all one small property in changing here fraction of seconds without restarting your micro service you can inject the values from the your external configuration any questions team you can ask now hope you are good with this configuration team hope you are good with this configuration team